Hey, the killer. No cap. <laughs> Yeah, fuck nigga, no cap. Get back, little nigga. Get smoke, thinking that shit rap. Blew a lot of money, but I made shit back. I'm a big dog, little bitch. This facts, fuck nigga, no cap. Hey man, welcome back to another episode of No Motherfucking Cap, man. I'm your boy Chicago King Day, aka Mr. D Diddy himself. I got my boy Ball in the fucking building, Mr. Six Rings himself. Yes, sir. I got my boy. Y'all already know his name. Skrill, tell the motherfucking truth, Bush. <laughs> Today, man, we missing Jazzy Wazzy. She'll be back next episode. So all the fellas that's drooling over her, keep drooling. She'll be back. But I got some special people in the building today, man. I got my boy, Will, the legend Gates. I'm giving everybody, I'm the new dirt guy here. I'm giving everybody nicknames. Right, 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 right. I take it. I take What's the it, business? Take it, man, it's all good, man. I'm happy to be here, man. Y'all my family. Shit. Yeah, let's get hey, it. I ain't gonna lie, we happy to have you in the building, man. Yeah, You're yeah. a real legend. I, I wouldn't miss you for nothing in the world. I ain't gonna lie. To you. I just seen the picture. You probably what? You was 19 on the picture filming with the stocking cap on, uh, looking yeah, like Day Day yeah, on yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, this nigga really been doing this shit for a long yeah. ass time. From Inglewood too. Oh, oh man, yeah. shout out to Inglewood, <laughs> man. With the E. Hey man, with the E. With the E. Oh yeah, okay. With the e, man. You know what? I ain't never even paid that attention. That's the difference from Cali, right? Yeah, it's with the I. The I. Yeah. So they insane and what we what? What the E? Shit, I'm just East side, East side, East side. Hey, it's two fucked up places, so <laughs> definitely is, man. It's a left of me, man. Mm-hmm. I got Mr. Larry Junior, right? Yeah. Second, third, what? Yeah, right. Junior. Man, I'm the, uh, the third. It's, I'm Larry Hoover Junior, the second. I got another brother, Larry. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 most definitely, man. But I'm Junior, so. Junior, how that feel to be a Junior? Larry Hoover Junior. Uh, it, it caused a little bit of extra attention. Yeah, <laughs> you like the attention, or sometimes? Yeah, it goes both ways. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's all well. Oh wow. Cause I don't know really how I'd be acting being Larry Hoover Jr.'s son. Like I can just imagine right now running a podcast. I'm calling Puffy. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga, you know my daddy is, nigga. Hey, Y'all got Wallow and your nigga. Pick us up tonight. <laughs> like I probably be talking crazy to them motherfuckers. Hey, you gonna have to act accordingly because no, they gonna look right. at you differently. Yeah, you're right. you are uh, Larry Hoover's son. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. They gonna take it for real. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I've been paying attention to the whole movement, everything that you got going on, and I see that you're a very educated man. You know what I'm saying? Most people will be thinking you being Larry Hoover's son, being from Chicago, that you might be a little wild. You getting up here, your hat cocked and all that. But me just being around Chicago, I ain't really never seen you in the streets or nothing like that. Like, I mean, um, my father was pushing for me to do things the way he wanted them to be done. So I, I'm kind of like a... Uh, I'm a blueprint of the blueprint. You know what I mean? I'm what Roman development is. I've been making myself a part of society. You know, I went to school. I worked this job for 22 years. I, I'm married. I got two kids, and I've been in their life. You know what I mean? He was trying to teach young men how to be a part of society, quit being outcast, and, um, you know, just move into the world, stay out to jails, and, you know, start fighting for each other and changes in our community, and I'm just an example of that, you know. Most definitely. I seen everything, so that was the benefit of being there with Junior. I got to see the the streets. I got to see the education. I got to see business world. I, You know, I got to see a little bit of everything. Entertainment, see it all. Yeah, most definitely. So with you being Hoover's son, with him just being your dad, and I know he was pushing you to stay out the streets and stuff, and with him not being around, what else motivated you to stay out the street? <laughs> so, when I was younger, you know, I mean, I took my chance and jumped off, the, jumped off the porch. I thought I was gonna be out there in the streets. That didn't last for a long time. My best friend got killed when I was like um, sixteen years old, mm-hmm. and I had to make a decision at that point. Like, what do I want to do about this? And as I'm thinking, what do I want to do about it? I'm thinking about all the consequences and. If it don't go right, and what could happen with this? And with that being my partner in crime and, you know, the person that I loved out there in the streets, you know, I made the decision to, that I didn't want to deal with what might happen if it didn't go right, along with my father telling me, like, man, go to school and don't worry about none of that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
it is what it is as far as this is concerned. You go worry about being a part of society. You're trying to get businesses going. You go learn how to run these businesses. You go yeah. find out about, you go do business education or something so you can run the things that we were getting going, you know, because we, we was doing concerts. We had clothing companies. We had a bunch of stuff that I was looking forward to um, running. Taking over, yeah. yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, your story, it reminded me of me when I was growing up and I was a kid. Like, you know what? What was that, like Boys in the Hood? Uh, or uh, when he was in the back of the car, was like Trey pulling yeah. cars. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> I went through that as a shorty. I thought I was ready for this shit. Jumped yeah. off the porch. I'm like, yeah, we finna go do this shit. Right. right. In the back of the car, I was on the same side that he was on, pooping right. like a motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's okay to be yourself. You ain't gotta do all that shit. So you know what I'm saying? I salute you really for picking a different path because I know growing up in Chicago, being an inner city kid, like that's challenging. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it was definitely there. Like, by the time I went away to college, as far as associates of people that I knew that that's no longer here with us, it was just ridiculous. I had met so many people that's just not here no more. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, definitely coming up in Chicago and trying to make a choice of doing the, the right thing compared to the common thing. You know what I mean? That was... You know, it's a little rough making that decision because I see that's what they're going through now. Do the right thing or do the common thing. Do what's in your face. And, I, you know, I decided to do what was right. And I also had a person in my ear to help guide me in the right direction, too. And when it happens that your father is Larry Hoover and you feel like he might be able to touch you if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know, that kind of helps. Yeah, 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 most definitely. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to speak on about an incident that happened like in this area. Uh, I'm pretty sure y'all heard that the 15 year old boy didn't take this out. I don't know why the fuck I still got this in my ear. And ain't nobody tell me. Zay, why you tell me? Huh, take that for But uh, it was an incident going on with uh, around the corner. The kid, 15 years old, about a week and a half ago, leaving the military school. And he was gunned down by another 15 year old kid. Who was on house arrest? Yeah. Who was on house arrest? <clears throat> Damn. Right. Which one was on house arrest? The one that did the, the killing. Oh, right. And you being from Inglewood, like, what's going on with the kids that he would even risk himself with a monitor around his ankle and right. just go out? First of all, I think they said that he stole a car to go do the drill. Right. Then did the drill and got caught. Right. 20 seconds later, so he didn't even get a chance to celebrate. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, what's going through these ki- kids' heads? Who's out here really telling them, like, yeah, go and kill a nigga? Is it the music or, like, what's going on? I and mean, you from Inglewood, so I know yeah. you you know a little something. So I don't know. I, would, I, I mean, people always try to put it off on the music. I don't, I, I, I don't agree with that because you look back in the 1920s, 30s, what the fuck was Al Capone them listening to? Yeah. Smooth jazz. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They still was killing jazz. 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 Yeah. Jazz. Yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah. so, it's, yeah, it's not the music. I think it's just the way, in. yeah, it's the way the fucking system is, is, is designed because I ain't gonna lie. I was that little kid, bro. My, mama, wow. my, my mother, my mother and my father, they, they, they dealt with uh, drug addiction. Mm-hmm. So every fucking day I would go to school. You know, I got kids teasing me. Yeah, your mama hype. Uh, your daddy cool. So I'm angry. You know what I mean? And I don't know how to fucking transfer this anger. So I'm fighting. I'm acting out. I'm acting a damn fool. I don't care what the teacher's going to mm-hmm. do to me because my mom don't give a fuck. No way. Yeah. She high. My dad don't give a fuck. I get suspended. Shit, I'm at home with them getting high. Ain't no repercussions. You see mm-hmm. what I'm So I just think it's a lot of kids out here, man, that lacks... Um, Guidance, they like guidance and, and hope. You feel me? Because one thing about being from Inglewood, bro, it's a lot of hopelessness. Like I fuck, I'm a film director, bro, F- a fucking film director. But me growing up, I only looked up to uh, shit. Who I had to look up to, my the people I looked up to and took care of me was the fucking gangsters and the drug dealers and the, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and, and the, all of the motherfucking people that call monsters. That's my family. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I just think. That it's a, it's just fucking repeating. History is gonna continue to repeat itself over and over again. From about me being a filmmaker, I've seen footage from the twenties, the thirties, the fucking the sixties, the fifties. That we all share the same story. Same story. Lack of resources, lack of money, lack of hope, lack of fucking education. 
back event. We don't even got no after school pro- uh, programs. She said no saying? more. Right. So even me as a kid, shit we used to do for fun. We used to bust out car windows with fucking spark plugs. Spark plugs. He just oh, talking you know about that, that, that shit. shit. Just just little little that shit was amazing. To that little white piece would take a whole yeah. piece. Yeah. Twelve foot wooden yeah. down. That was fun yeah. for us. So we we would fucking burn up garages. So I stayed on 70th in Marsfield, right across the street from the bus bar. We go over there, take the fucking fire extinguishers from the bus, spray the bitches in the in, in the alley, smoke clouds, like because we we didn't have not nothing, nothing. pipes and shit. Right. Yeah, we didn't have <laughs> nothing. Yeah, real, 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 real life. Right. That was not the thing. Right? Being up hype, bro. Like wild. being up hype. Just reckless shit because of what they say. Though. Yeah, what they wild. say. The, the idle mind is the devil's playground. Yeah, and I'm I'm shit. I'm real life. Can tell you, bro. I had a lot of fucking idle times, bro. I was a terror. Like, he, he was wild ass. Yeah, I, I don't know. High school, that, 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 grammar school. school. I, don't know about that. I was Will really Gates, terrible. and he was yeah, funny yeah. as fuck. Look, comedian. Yeah. I ain't never know that part though. Bro, look, he was, and I, I, I ain't never know we were so close. No, he, he, was was a, he was a gang. Can you imagine a fucking kid, angry as fuck? I got some thick pop bottle ass glasses. Come up to me and do some shit like this, like <laughs> touch my shit. But he not knowing I'm with the shit. So as yeah. soon as he do that, I'm boop, boop, boop. No, you gotta talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Mop, 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 so I got a fucking so my sisters didn't beat my ass, my cousin, the gladiator school was already. I know how to do these, throw these bitches, so I'm beating motherfuckers up. And then before you know it, everybody wanna crack jokes and shit with me, be my friend now, because they know. <laughs> you got your head. head. Nah, nah, on folks ain't right. Steve Urkel. <laughs> you gotta call them Will Gates. Motherfuckers, ah, you Steve Urkel. Cool. Next motherfucker call me Steve Urkel. I'm rocking ass. Not <laughs> Steve Urkel. You got a story like right, me. But, Mark. but we went 16, crushing 16 shit. Crushing shit. Yeah. Shit, even yeah. though it was wild. Wow. But man. I can tell you, it damn near did get to that point. It was just now, though, it's fucking, I don't know where the fuck these guns is coming from. I but them. they are here because when I was always smart, so my mom was like, I don't give a fuck. Because my mom cleaned herself up by the time I got to high school. She said, I don't give a fuck. You're not going to Harp. All my friends went to Harp. Mm-hmm. I went to Harp, but it wouldn't be no Will Gates. I was going to be the GD to the bone gristle, and I was going to be fucked up. But she sent me to Limblom. Limblom, mm-hmm. you have to be smart, and they took pride in going to fucking college and shit. You went to school with this jerk? Yeah, this was my man. Yeah, was but was homie, homie. fucking... The windblown was fucking in the MC territory. So you turned it, you the it out. Yeah, so I'm catching the bus from 70th and Diamond down to, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. Limbloom Park. 63rd, 63rd. I had a fucking a, a deuce deuce with one bullet in that motherfucker with tape on that bitch. And that, hey, listen, <laughs> my, my, my objective was like, if any of these motherfucking MCs touch me, I'm shooting them in the face with this one bullet. But we never got to that point. But the, my point is, now these kids got switches and thirds. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, they got that shit. That shit costs a G too. Yeah, yeah no, that's what I'm saying. But, 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 but you gotta think though, the things that, that they do. But the things they do to make money, bro, is so much easier, bro. Like for us, like for me, my first job was I counted money for the older dope dudes. I counted all the ones and the fives and shit. That was my job. First job, twelve years old. But now these kids can fucking crack a car, boom, they 20 bucks up. They ain't got to sell nobody mm-hmm. packs. They ain't listen to nah. nobody. <laughs> they ain't got to sell nobody packs. They not impressed by your foreign because they got one. They ain't fucking. But it's little niggas out with no money with $1,200 Glocks, bro. A lot of them yeah. ain't got to pay a clean shit. Nigga, they walking on. around with Crocs on. That's what they say. <laughs> Crocs on. Switches, yeah. that's called $1,600 fucking and to, dollars. And, and to answer Dave's question, I, I, I think it's a lack of value on freedom. Like a fifteen year old, you know you about to get caught. Mm-hmm. I don't think they freedom know. in life. I, I think it's a lack of time. But, 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 you totally on both of those. But but it's never been as short as on fucking prisons, bro. So you can't say that. Yeah. Motherfuckers been getting locked up since the chain gangs, bro. Yeah, yeah that's right. chain gangs. They been this system is designed for us to fail. Yeah. Period, bro. Period. So you got the chain gang. That's free labor. So that you think about it, a grammar school, a school is is fucking. That's a, that is set up just like it's, it's, it's an institution. Identical. Now it's an institution, it's right? They want us to wear fucking uniforms. They give us stand bullshit line. food, stand in line, gates on the window. Yeah, they don't want you to think for. They don't want you to forward think. You got fucking thirty minutes of gym or recess, yeah, for real. and then boom, 
Bro. It's overcrowded. Right, we had just back in our day. There's forty motherfuckers in our. Oh, hey, you, see, you see that class picture? We just forty back. motherfuckers. Flashbacks, bro. That bitch. Yeah, just yeah. Like the you feel me? Girl. So you think about it? It's the same shit is always metal been tables in the lunchroom yeah, with it's the slops too, on the. It's just like it, bro. They yeah. ain't crazy. They been fucking us up. It's too slime. How you feel about that? I mean, well, as far as like the killings with the young kids and stuff like that. Man, I wouldn't put it. I just want to put it on the um. So I wouldn't just put it on music and entertainment, but I believe that plays a role. Not just music, it's been in movies. You know what I mean? Even the it's movies that the white folks was doing before saying. it got to the stuff that we was doing. is as movies, as entertainment, as us not as, parenting. As, as parenting, it's just us yeah, being yeah, have nots and you know what I mean, trying to survive. It's um, you know, like you said, it's hopelessness because we don't know that it's possible to do something different. You know, we scared of each other. Everybody yeah, got mm-hmm. these guns. They know that they got these guns. It's like, I got to get the ups on the on the next person before he put the ups on me. If everybody talking about shooting and you really see people shooting, and the situation come up, what you going to do? You go shoot mm-hmm. first, so yeah. you're going to be the one that gets shot. Yeah, you know what I mean? And then it's a lack of right. understanding. You know, my old man told me that you can't kill everybody, and everybody ain't worth killing. You know, right now, and in, in they mind, it's like... For any situation, somebody needs to die. Just mm-hmm. if you are angry, it's worth somebody dying. Like, they don't even think about the fact that you may be trading your life for this person right here. So the question is, is this person even worth your life? Right. Like, they don't mm-hmm. even think about that. Like, yeah, it's just true. um, like, they being misled. There's no guidance, and there's no guidance at home. They not taking no guidance from nobody else as far as male figures. They don't know nothing about respect. Men are walking away from their families. They're not raising their sons. Their mamas is telling them that you don't got to listen to nobody but me. Right. So they go to school. They don't respect the teachers. Like, it's like we need a whole new, we need a paradigm shift. We need a different way of thinking. You know what I mean? And I think it's got to start with the young kids. I don't know what's going to happen with the teenagers and the older kids that's setting their ways and agree. trying not, they don't want to hear what you're saying. Right. But, like, we got to take these babies and start introducing them to the right things yeah. and letting them see this nonsense for what it is. And, you know, people act like it's cool. They keep talking about it like, uh, oh, that's a G. He a gangster. And Shorty got out mm-hmm. and blah, blah, blah. No, Shorty, you just killed somebody's kids. Yeah. You just ruined your own life. You just fucked up a whole family. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And everybody talking about it Two like rah, rah, rah. Two. And it's bullshit. It ain't rah, rah, rah. It's horrible. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And like I said, it's... But it, but it comes from our society. It's, it's capitalism. Somebody got to be at the bottom. Yeah. And we the ones at the bottom. Yeah. And right yeah. now, we're trying to survive. Mm. We fucking each other over. That's tough. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? We can't come together and fight to um, bring each other up. We just trying to see what we can get because don't nobody have shit. Mm-hmm. And don't nobody believe that you can get shit. If your family has been in the projects and in a bad situation all these years and you don't know what it takes to educate yourself and get up out of this, what you going to do? you going to go follow the path that's been set before you. And you're going to keep doing the same thing. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a big deal. It's going to be hard to make some change. Some changes can be made. You know what I mean? We can't never give up on it. It might not even be before we, while we're allowed to see it. But, you know what I mean? We just can't give up on it. We got to keep putting that information out there. Right. Keep trying to set up these programs in the schools that's not there like they were. It's some, but it's not enough. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody got to do their part. We got a good start on it, though. If old girl, if our coaches just follow suit with old girl with her son. And oh, old, yeah, yeah. We got it. Old girl, she turned her son in. Suit with that. On the uh, train. He was doing a little robbery. Oh, on yeah, the train. yeah. I just oh, read that today. Yeah, yeah she yeah. seen his ass. That's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> Accountability. Accountability. Because yeah. I didn't I feel like shit was wrong with that. I yeah. felt like. I'm applying her for that shit. Most people need to do that because... Nah, listen, nah, listen, real talk, I just had a situation, man. I ain't gonna put nobody names out there, but I damn sure had to put in the call, OG call. So, a person, a man called me. They took they took his fucking camera and his fucking... And his camera, his hard drive, and his laptop. For me, I'm I'm highly upset because I'm like, man, this is this man's livelihood. This mm-hmm. is how he fucking is going right. to provide for himself. Right. So, you know me, I do my due diligence. I'm calling around, asking about where he was at, who he was with, both. Come to find out, the little boy, he ain't 20 years old, young man, the young man who did that to, you know what I'm saying, the, the people who called me to get their shit back, I knew his mother. 
Mm-hmm. So I called his mother. I broke the shit down. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, man, thank you so much, Will Gay, for calling me. Because you know, I could have I could have not been mature. Right. And I opted out that call and just did what it needed to be done. Mm-hmm. But I called, boom. And she said, I promise you by the end of the night, you'll have all your shit back. And lo and behold, I got that, I got that little brother shit back. Oh man, that's good shit right there. Yeah, yeah. That's good shit back. I like that. We can't protect. The, I mean, we want to protect our kids, yeah. but we can't protect them for doing wrong. Yeah, they, that's what I'm right, saying. Right, right, they right. think it's right. Yeah, you know what I mean, I right, you validate them. Yeah, I had a situation before, and I tried to look out. They stole my car while mm-hmm. I was I was setting up for a job. Me and my wife was doing. Mm-hmm. And while I'm setting up for a job, we dropped the keys. These cats seen us, dropped the keys, picked up the keys, and stood across the street, looked at us, looked for the keys. So as we realized we can't find them, we like, fuck it, let's go get this job done because we got a deadline. Right. Come outside, the car's gone. Right. But we got the um, on stop. Right. So we call the police, the car's here, the car's there. They find them, they get the car back, and they got the little cats at the, at the spot. Right. I'm thinking, man, shorty, them young, they 15, 16. I don't want to put this case on them. Yeah. Man, 30. Right. I tell, I tell them, why, I, I tell them, let them go, man. You they know what I mean? I'm up like, the fuck it. Huh? Like, yeah, I said, they ain't fuck up the car. No, they ain't fuck up That's the car. They threw my shit out. I tell them, let them go. They stole my camera. They called one of their friends who had the camera. Right. You know, shorty told them that. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Fuck them. <laughs> so he was about to let his friends go down. Right. When all he had to do was uh, turn drop the camera. The camera. Turn the camera. Yeah, just drop the camera. We'll go get yeah. it. You ain't got to turn yourself in. Right. But, yeah, I don't know. The mentality this one his right homies. now. Huh? This one of his homies? Yeah, there was it was one that wasn't in the car. He didn't get caught. He was gone with the camera. That's right. And shit. the police had them at the station. Up. Up. But, you know, just the mentality of what's going, out, going on out here, like... They ain't with each other. They ain't with nobody, man. Like, yeah. they don't know what respect is. They don't yeah. know what love is. They need all that. They got to understand what all that is, man. They need a hug. They need a a real handshake. They need, they need a real that. ass whooping yeah. too, bro. Yeah. I love yeah. this. Yeah. I'm a father, they man. 15, I discipline 16, my boys, man. No 16, like, it's like because you ain't really whooping. Not I am, because they phased the out. It's the parents, like, harboring, like, the parents harbor, like, me, I ain't gonna lie. See, with me, it's situational. I can't say because it ain't happening. But I ain't just telling on my kid. But I also know in reality, I know I ain't finna harbor my kids and did some evil, real life evil right, shit. Right, right, right. I, I kind of know, like, ain't no, I know, like, I fuck around and be that mama. Like, you robbing motherfucking working people on a train? Right. I know that's you. I see, right. I know yeah, you. Yeah, that's you. Man, that's my fucking kid. Man, but it all, it all boils down, bro, to accountability, bro. Like, I'm fucking gonna have that. accountability, bro. Like, accountability is fucking... Yeah, because yeah, cause remember, remember they went all them stillers in the street? A lot of parents was with their kids doing that shit. When they be doing all that riding shit. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like a, a lot of a lot of kids, teenage, young kids, like... And you ain't teaching your kids. Yeah, hey, that was situation. <laughs> that was real situation. That was that was emotional. Right. Like people got overcome with right. emotion. Right. As when that shit. I'm not saying that it was right. I can't make it right. Yeah. It was definitely wrong. Yeah. But the emotion that was involved in that, yeah. and all the stuff that people experienced. Now me myself. No, that ain't gonna work out. But, hey. Yeah, the have nots and that shit happened, and you mad like yeah. my fuck ain't go. Let us get nowhere and let nothing happen. Yeah, Fuck that. We can tear this bitch up. Shit, hey, but I can't lie, that. though, bro. Like, I had that situation, bro. When the Bulls won the first championship. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, no, I ain't got this. that shit. I'm taking it back right I'm now. Now, listen. The Bulls won the first championship. I was about 12, bro. I was 11. I was out there fucked up. I'm stealing my ass off. My mama. Listen. My mama. Basketball. Both of y'all old restitution. Listen. Yes. My mama's a real base head at this time, though. I ain't accountability though. She caught my little ass, bro. She beat the shit out of me. Yeah. My mom didn't catch me. Nah, I got caught in our neighborhood. Listen, you I got see, I'm in the projects. It's too many. Yeah, it's Inglewood. It's Ashland, the motherfucking Damon. That's my world. You feel it. me? Like I ain't even know no other gangs existed. Shit, nigga. It was just GDs and motherfucking stones. Like my cousin came to live with us. He told me he was a new breed. I told him he was a t- <laughs> Listen, I told him he was lying. Like, <laughs> that was just how fucked up, man. How small my world was. My, my cousin come live with us in eighth grade. I'm in sixth grade. Bro, I'm, 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 
He come in the room, my mom and them leave. I'm bad. I'm sneaky. I'm boy, what you is, boy. You feel me? He, well, I'm, I'm new breed. I'm triple F. That ain't no motherfucking game. Listen, 12 years old, though. I'm telling him, that ain't no motherfucking game, though. You feel me? Then, lo and behold, on 67, you walk out, nigga. That is a fucking game, bro. It's a real. When I went to high school, no, when I went to high school, I fucking discovered it's a lot of different games. I'm like, whoa, shit. Everybody ain't GD around this bitch. Like, oh, fuck. But, nigga. I was on that like I was fucked up like man mm-hmm. like it was through the grace of God I changed but that was family then though. fucked up like the game was the game was family Listen, they took care of me. they brought yeah. me clothes for my graduation I graduated from 8th grade I'll never forget but they brought my whole outfit I never felt no type of love like that in my life you feel me they fucking got me drunk it was fucking Moet White Star and Hennessy I threw up my whole life <laughs> you know what I'm saying life. my whole life I went to fucking uh, the click <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. At twelve, yeah. they got me in the real gang, <laughs> like, real gangster <laughs> niggas. The click and motherfucking uh, what's that shit was the club on fucking uh, Mr. Ricky's. Mr. Ricky. Mr. Ricky. Mr. Ricky. <laughs> Listen, I'm in there. He's in there. He's in there. Listen, <laughs> Listen, I'm in that bitch though. He's always Mr. Ricky. Hell no, that was a Mr. Ricky's before the fifty fifth. Mr. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Listen, uh, I'm in there with real street. live gangsters that graduated yeah. from eighth grade because in my hood, graduated from eighth grade. Motherfuckers ain't graduated from high school, so yeah. eighth grade was an accomplishment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, was this before you got out the car, or? Nah, I ain't never got. I was out. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never get out the yeah. car. Sure. You say me, huh? Yeah, I, I feel like I complete the mission. Nah, but. Nah. <laughs> you got to talk about that. Nah, nah, nah. But just, but, but one thing they did tell me. And this is this is the old teaching. What no fucking dropping out of school. It was yeah. not an option. Yeah. Was not listen. My mom and them doing whatever the fuck they want to. When I come through that bitch, you want a towel? Trying to, nah, hey, I'm you get them a towel. Yeah. Fuck I'm towel. trying to. I'm trying Sign to hang something. out with them, and I'm telling you, they discipline me. Boom, smacking me off. Boy, take your little ass to school. Get this education. Yeah. Because growth and development was in effect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they was instilling that in me. So when I went to high school. It was already like, all right, get your shit together. Figure out what the fuck you're going to do to to better the situation. That, that You know what I'm saying? Which is the mission. Is they We need us. You know what I'm saying? Your old man, he want us to be doctors, lawyers, fucking film directors. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, all the above. Business owners. A business owner other than just being fucking street thugs. Fuck. So, that was a steal to me. You feel hey. me? I done got smacked a couple times. Yeah, he, he knew the end result of that one. <laughs> <laughs> he was just going to uh, stay in the streets, but his yeah. the whole thought was that he was in the situation he was because he was illiterate. Mm-hmm. He went to... He couldn't read when he went to jail, and he felt like just because he couldn't read and he... Right. He was illiterate. That was the reason why he was in the situation that he was in. He had to figure it out, and the streets was the way to figure it out. Mm-hmm. So that's what made him decide he wanted to change that. And once he found out that, damn, I can read, and I can get better at it, and I can do the shit that I couldn't do that got me into the bullshit, I can find out about everything that I want to do, that's when all of a sudden, oh, man, I'm going to do a clothing company, y'all. We go... Yeah, Let's get together and do concert. Let me do a, a gym shoe line and they had the socks, the free leather yeah, yeah. socks. We sold but, all that shit. Well, yeah, it was, all it that was shit. all about um, entrepreneurship. He yeah. said that anything you want to know about it was in a book. You can read and find out how to do it. And he felt like the community can do the same thing. And it was all an education. Yeah, we were shying away from education. Like fuck that. That shit ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah. But his whole thing was like, man, nah. Y'all need education. You can't do nothing without education. Yeah, that's right. Now, without speaking education. of concerts, how close is the relationship with Jay Prince? Because I see he like running Houston. He's very supportive of the old man. And that's Larry Hoover singing. Okay. Man, uh, man, we've been dealing with Jay Prince for over 20 years now. We was bringing the ghetto boys ghetto to the boys. amphitheater on Halston. What you before. see, D? What you what? see, D? Yeah. I see some ball head oh. Back then. But now, hold on. Now, this is a quick little briefing for everybody because I know Ruga, shout out to Ruga, you made the song. Yeah, dope. But we've been in the dope. So, go ahead. Now, <laughs> I just want to put that out there. Ruga just made them. Hey, the DJ, this the other day, it's a true story. Saturday night. They put it on. We get turned up the first seven seconds. They turn it off. Somebody came, like, I ain't told him to turn it off. Don't play he it. He said he can't play it. We 
Blue. They like, hold on. Go up to the fucking DJ booth. And play the song. And do put that shit back on. We in there, but all those songs, Vice Lords, but they know they. Mm -hmm. I go up there, I say, hey, why y'all turn that off? They like, yeah. Damn, man, why you have to come up here? I said, put it back on. Yeah. Yeah. They put that shit back on because we've been in the door since I was a kid. Ghetto Boy, Scarface. I knew what Listen, was going on. We have to buy those Skyface tickets. I yeah. purchased one of them tickets. I can't even go. Where you go? Hold on. Hold on. You, you have to got pay that 50. <laughs> now look. You have to pay that 50. Who might have had nothing to do with that? But no, you got to say Who might have had nothing to do with that? But you had Nation work and you had to buy a ticket to the concert. Yeah. That was the uh, neighborhood. Yeah, yeah facts. Yeah, I definitely yeah. shot Yeah, my best share of is ass brick pack Mexican weed. Strand shit. Look like a bad weed. Uh, but yeah, now all of that shit made me who I am, bro. I understand. I understand the, 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 the have nots and the haves. I understand the wicked, the, the, the pure heart. It, it really just molded me into the person I am. And, and my my sole mission is to help every, any and everybody. So anybody know my lineage? I help the BDs, I help the GDs, I help the, the foes, I help the stones, I help everybody, bro, because I want to see everybody win. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, I know you're going to get to my age, you feel me? Yeah, and definitely. what you're going to have, you ain't going to have shit, you're going to be a fucking loser. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, you, man. yeah. I want to go back to it's so much weed in the fucking building that I'm fucking smoking. <laughs> <laughs> you smoking weed? I'm going to get high. I'm going to get high. Ray Money affected the building. Now, what question did I ask you? Oh, the, you asked me what, what was the, the weed made me fucking forget. I'm so sorry. It, it was the relationship with Jason Prince and what uh, that is. Jay Prince, there we go. Basically, I was yeah. just saying that that's a uh, 20 plus year relationship and go back from doing shows right. at, the, okay. at the amphitheater. All right, you, know? right. you refresh my memory now. Go ahead, tell the story. Yeah, you were about to do it. Yeah, you were about to do it. Hey, I mean, the weed. I don't even know how niggas really be smoking weed. This shit be throwing me <laughs> off. <laughs> this shit throw me off. I don't know how. I'm already laid back and super fucking cool, so it's like that. So you get you get real laid back. I'm having that. So <laughs> well, I ain't me. You know what I mean? As, as we was doing shows, when we were doing our shows at the amphitheater, the shows that they was going to, they wasn't on. They wasn't used to seeing oh, us man. having shows like that. Coming to a show, being some black promoters, that we got a whole arena. And it's full, so mm-hmm. Jay and them coming from out of um, Houston, 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 Houston. want to know like, damn, who was that and what's going on? I ain't used to seeing shit like this. They used to seeing um going to shows like the white shows, the fresh this and what have you, but they seen that, so he came in and met us, and you know, and my relationship man. just built from from then to now. You know, I want to meet Jay all Prince. Groups in. Yeah. I want to meet him. You gonna help us out with that? Yeah, that can happen. Most definitely. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you gotta know people that know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta know people that know. Hey, hey the camera's Prince. recording, right? Because I want us to have that. Yeah. You got that on point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you gonna catch Junior? You know? Junior gonna be like, I don't remember seeing it. They gonna make you up. I thought you said it. Alright, both definitely. What's that? I got a question for you. Oh yeah, go ahead. We sad. I'm talking to little Larry though. Oh. Like, do you ever like to sit back and reminisce like how smart, you know what I'm saying, your old man is, though? Like, because, like, he's, he he predicted stuff in 94 on the uh, boys thing that was, that we going on to this day like that. I mean, chain game, cold games, prison on stock market, everything else. Like, how the yeah. brain operate is being confined. I know when you be confined, you can obviously think. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being confined in the capacity that he in. Like, he really overthinking. And that was back in 94, and he had lanes then. But right now, he's doing some extra stuff with his brain. Do you like sit back and like think like, man, how my old man think about this, knowing that he couldn't read and write you know, in the beginning, but now his brain power is so powerful and intimidating. I mean, you know what I'm saying that the people like really don't really know, know how to deal with you know what I'm saying his brain power. You ever like remember this on that? I mean, I think about it. it, it I mean, it's true. He is a special individual. It's not a lot of people that's that's like him was that are able to do the things that he's done to be able to educate himself and take himself to the um to the educational level that he's at, you know, the to have the people in the powers that be to think of him as a as a threat. You know what I mean? That's like like wow, he's a human being. And to me he's he's my father. I know what he's done and right. you know what I see and what people talk about, but like, to me, he, you know, it's like, dude, That's get me. off me. I'm going to do what you asked me to, like, it's my father to me, right. like, the regular dude. Like, you, I don't know what your relationship is, but, you know, it's just 
this is my father, man. Quit putting this pressure on me. Yeah, I'm taking care of my kids. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But to look at what he, yeah, it is. I look at it, and I'm like, wow. It, it kind of make me feel like, damn, how can I match up to that? Yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I, I ain't going to lie, though, bro. Yeah, that fucking speech there, you had on Donda, bro. Yeah. That was dope, bro. I felt that shit. I felt that shit, bro. I, felt that shit, bro. Man, I, mean, I appreciate that, and I was, I was trying to hope that, you know, people felt what I was felt put into it. You freestyled it, or you just off the, you know what? wrote it down? He, uh, he called that day. Like, you would do something, and I started writing, and I did it that day, and uh, went over it, and he and Ness, man, you should maybe put, with a couple people that's close to me, like, maybe you should, man, tell about this, I don't heard you talk about this, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? All right, let me put that in there. That's and, cold. That you know shows you how. Now, I want to ask one but question. Did you do a split sheet? For that, when you uh, were gay, <laughs> you know, the old man's son, you finished that in your head, right? Uh, did you do a split sheet? He did it. Look at these things. Look at these things. Shit. I I, look, now, I, 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 I ain't black 100. I ain't pocket watching. I'm just saying, man. And she didn't yeah. go platinum, now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I just want to know. I want to know. Yeah, I took care of it. Because we finna ask you about some sponsorship. Look, now nigga big. <laughs> hey, I still don't know what the paper looks like, but I didn't care. <laughs> most definitely. I got something right that somebody wanted me to ask you because they've been through the same thing like you going through right now. They father been incarcerated and stuff like that for a long time, and they wanted me to ask you when was the last time you physically touched your father? Gave him a hug. Hey, Dad, love you. Shook his hand. What's up, nigga? All right. D-Ray voice. First of all, what what I'm going to say before that is, when I used to visit my father, I would hug him, and he would try to kiss me. And I would always push him away. Right. No, man, cut that out. Yeah. Hot yeah. rough yeah. ass. Yeah. You kissing on me, man. And uh, now I wish I could get that hug well, and that kiss. Good. I actually I don't my hug my son, yeah. and I kiss him, and hug him and kiss him just... Cause of that, cause I know it could be a day where he can't get that. You know what I mean? But it's been since my father was um, I think it was ninety six, ninety seven. It might have been ninety five. How old were you at that time? Shit, ninety five. I was in college when it happened. You know what I mean? So I was probably. You want to tell your age? (laughs) Shit, I'm gonna tell you. Ninety five. I graduated from eighth grade in ninety (laughs) five. No, he said, he said, oh, I was in college. Hey, look, I think y'all think about going to college. I think y'all think about going to college. Kevin Hart say, damn. He said, hey, look, Kevin Hart, damn. Hey, I'm going to tell you that hey, like the old people tell me. Why don't you hear and you keep listening to me? Yeah, most definitely. It, it, it gets to that point. I ain't yeah. no young nigga now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an OG. We yeah. 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 that. It's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That's the OG round table going on right now. Yeah. Well, 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 yeah, yeah. It was about... Screw looks the youngest at all. 1996, I think it was the last time. <laughs> that, um, well, you know. Shit, my daughter is, is 22 oh, now. She never um, she never touched her grandfather. My son, mm-hmm. 15, he never touched his, touched his grandfather. Mm-hmm. You know, it's been... Yeah, it's about... Yeah, about 95, 96, when they took him to the MCC... That was the last place I got to touch him at. And ever since he's been in Colorado, no more touch. It's through the glass on the phone. That man is free, free the old man, man. Free, free, free the old man. man. Hey, so what's... Yeah, free my can man you tell me, what do you feel about rehabilitation? Because that's how they make us make it sound like it makes sense. Because how the fuck you not rehabilitated yet? I mean, so th- this is the game they play with him, right? So they tell him that he needs to get in these programs for rehabilitation. But at the place he's in... He's in solitary confinement. You right. can't go just go to classes for, for rehabilitation. When he first went to Florence, he did all that he could that they allowed him to do for rehabilitation, but it didn't matter. They told him that um you can take all the classes that you want. You're not getting out of here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The guards told him that, and he kind of responded to that at some point. And, you know, didn't make a whole lot of effort after that. Mm to, you know, take these classes because it was supposed to be a step-down program. He's supposed to have been in the Supermax, go through these steps, then they move you to the other prison with everybody else with the population and all that type of situation. But um, they told him it wasn't going to happen. But, I mean, he's 
rehabilitated. He, it wasn't a violent crime or anything when he went there. You know, the judge even said, like, you're not supposed to be in the ADX. If I knew you was going to the ADX, you know, I would have tried to do something about it. Like, his crime <coughs> don't even fit the crimes to go to the ADX. It's a non-violent drug crime. It's, it's no murder or nothing, right? No, it's, it's no murder. I know it doesn't... Um, we're not dealing with that, and it doesn't account for anything, but it was a drug case that they got the drugs from another case, but they they charged them with it. So, okay, that's it. It's guys that's on the same case with the same charges because the law says that they um, deserve to be released. Like, he qualified for the same things, but his name is Larry Hoover, so... It's looked at a little different. They, Political prison. Yeah, they're looking at the fact that um he may use his influence in a negative light when he wasn't even using his influence. He was trying to use his influence in a positive light before they silenced him from the world. And he wouldn't come home trying to take part in the streets of what's going on. He's appalled every time he hears what's going on in the city of Chicago. Like, mm-hmm. can't nobody step up and do nothing? You know, he... He, he don't like what's going on. This ain't gangsta as far as he's concerned. This Are they legally extending his stay because he he eligible to come home, correct? Like yeah. under He qualifies the under Quali- the First Step Act. He so qualifies they, to be released. So, they, so the world don't know that they legally extending his stay or they have the whole So have you know what? Stay. It's under the it's under the judge's discrepancy. Right. So the judge has the right to choose whether the he judge. feels like he should under the law. He should be released. Like, he qualifies to be released. The, the judge, judge can, said that. And it's the federal case, right? Yeah, but now it's up to the judge to decide am I going to help the community if I let him home or am I harm the community? So it'd be a white, yeah. mad, racist judge. But it's up to him to make that choice. Damn. You know what I mean? So it's not, yeah, it's up to him. That's why, I'm, you know, that's why this whole movement is here for the community and all the people to say, we want this man to come home. You know what I mean? He's not going to harm our community if anything. He will help our community. Right. You know what I mean? He's uh, generations away from the youth that's here, but, you know, he's he's hope to the community. You right. know what I mean? These young people might be like, like who, who the fuck is Larry Hoover? That old ass dude, I don't yeah, know who he course. is. Right. But at the same time, there's people like us and, you know, all the people that may push their kids to grab their yeah. kids and shit yeah. like that. You know what I mean? The stuff that's... That might help make a change. The family's got to take part in it. You know, they think everybody from the outside of what's going on is going to be able to change what's going on in our communities. When really, it takes getting to the people that's in the middle of it to that, to want to make a change. Nobody on the outside is going to be able to just make that change. That's how the changes was made back in the day when the peace treaties was made. It took yeah. the guys that was in the middle of it to say, "Shit, I'm tired of uh, walking around with this motherfucker gun on my yeah. side." And, Ducking and sneaking through the alley to get through the store. Right. I wish this shit could stop. We all got families. What the you know, fuck? Yeah, the fuck yeah. don't want to be out with their families well, and shit. And just okay, deal, man. People well, got, that family don't like, love. So I got a question. So, so how do you feel like your family got into the position? Like, because it's influence. Yeah. It's so powerful. You know what I'm saying? And, and to, to the point where it's, it's still relevant and heavy today. How do you how, how do you how do you feel that, that your father captured the people like he did? That's like what he was saying earlier. I think it was innate. Like, he just a special type of person. Like, just, he naturally was a leader. Yeah, and you, you know, know what I mean? Even as a kid, he started, he was doing stuff as a leader. Right. It's just, it was naturally in him. Like, some people come, and they had his ability, and, like, his ability wound up being a fault to him. You know, so I just think it was naturally in him. Yeah, I know, I, it I, is. I, That's I, how I don't, I don't even know. Like even like back then when he was on street, he was young. Like he used to feed, you know, say in the community. You know what I mean? He had little soup kitchens and stuff. You know what I mean? For, for breakfast and things like that. Like, like it's, it's a lot of stuff y'all probably need to look up. Yeah, like the thing yeah. that you know, LBH did. You know what yeah, I'm saying? He, like, he, like, brain power back then, and he didn't know how to read back then. So this thing, he didn't know how to read when he went to jail. But I'm talking about in the seventies, he still had the soup kitchen and everything. Where he was making sure people ate in the community on 68 and Green. Yeah, he followed the lead from uh, David. David and them had the soup yeah. kitchen first, and before they had it, Jeff had the community yeah, organization. They that was taking care of the community. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah. they came from the street, like they came from the have-nots. And they knew that they came from the have-nots. Right. So when they was in position to do something for 
other people that was having nights like them, they like, man, I'm gonna try to, you know, keep them from going through what I what I went through. Yeah. And that's 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 all these organizations. Well, for the most part, I can't say all of them, because some of these youngsters now and the stuff they're making up, I don't know if they're thinking about the people that's behind them. You know, what I mean, they kind of quick to. Just have no remorse for the yeah. people around them, but it's strength in numbers, man. If we all just came together, man, imagine how much shit we can accomplish, man, without it being the BDK or GDK or fucking, you know what I mean? Like, like we would have. Like it's so clicked much. now. It ain't really. It ain't really. No, nah, no, nah, but I'm just saying though. That, like, listen, yeah. but 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 the but the but the, 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 the matter is, it, it, it stems from that shit. So it's mm-hmm. like 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 bro was saying earlier, man. Like we go out, we'd be in a fucking store. This brother is, you know what I'm saying? We look at a Caucasian person, and it's just like, boom, we don't feel no fucking, no type of fear, nothing. Sure. Mm-hmm. It's all good. But I see my black brother right here, he coming to this bitch, look, I'm taking the safety off my shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And it shouldn't be that. Like, we programmed to think like that. Hey, and, nah. it's, and it's fucked up. Is this a true story? Valentine's Day, me and my lady, we go out and go to the Bulls game. I'm at the concession stand. Right. White dude was bad at me. Whatever. Fuck. Black dude gets so close to them. Damn, hold on. <laughs> I literally had to tell the man, man, I apologize. Yeah. Put my mask down. And it was crazy. I put my mask down. He's like, man, you should call King Dave. I'm like, yeah. yeah. He's like, man, I'm like, man, I apologize. But we shouldn't even pocket you though. Yeah. He will. No. <laughs> but, but listen though. He'll cook. Hold on. Come on. A white man. Hold on. 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 Hold me seeing another black man, I shouldn't even feel like this. This is a response to our circumstances. And he though. said, man, you know what, King? Self-hate. I respect you for that shit. Self-hate and I'm like, real, literally, bro. I'm like, man, I just seen you just so close to me. And you checked it, your pocket. It frightened me. Like, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> and you still checked your pocket. I'm here. Hey, look. Hey, but that's what Actually, that the white right man, we'll raise our Mom, hands and let our pockets be loose. Then when a nigga get close, we put our hands in our pocket, coat down. But they taught us that shit. They taught us that shit on the plantation. They taught us that shit coming off the bus. So, hey, the school, bus. hey, school, hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, yeah. like yeah. When, they, when they split the house nigga up in the field, nigga, like, you automatically start looking at your brother, so that's some shit just passed down. But they do that shit now, though, bro, because right. if, whenever we try to have a fucking upbringing and an uprising amongst our people, it's going to always be some niggas that be like, well, that wasn't my experience. I'm cool. They gave mm-hmm. me three million dollars. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's always so they're gonna se- they separate us from with the money. You feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah. But, but I've heard that a lot of fucking people are we do it to our people. We do it to our money. people too. It's just like the rappers, the hoopers, baseball players. Who at the core of that, player. bro? Who at the core? Who at the core? Who at the core of that, bro? Who? Them fucking man, the corporation. I ain't even gonna yeah, say white I'm, man. I'm saying no, because because greed, sure, greed right. has no color, bro. It's right, a black it greedy motherfuckers, it is. African greedy motherfuckers. That treat us worse than white greedy man. Man. Hey, But it's work. capitalism, man. Nah, yeah, it's exactly. we separated by the money yeah. that we have. The money. Yeah. So this is the difference, though. We got racism in them in their with us. That's a distraction. But but uh, all poor folks are the same. But white yeah. poor folks think they're in a better situation. We hit to it with them. But 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 that's not racism is a distraction because it's like there's no difference from a poor white trying to put fucking trailer park projects. Same shit. Well, my mama smoked crack. Women. Your mama smoked no, fucking meth, bro. Right, but you think we fucked up the same? Yeah. We eating poker beans together, my nigga. But they look at they look down on us. They that's feel like they got yeah. okay. Yeah. Hey, they. Do. The mm-hmm. Well, what you know they what say, I mean? what they, they say, they say, they say a fucking the, the the lowest, poorest white man wouldn't trade, wouldn't trade with the richest fucking black man. That's bro. tough. Uh, yeah, that's that's tough. Mentally, and that and he, he hated us. It's like he man, hate us. For they real. Well, opt out now. I'm cool. I'm but look, to stay with this. Take us to now. Now this take us to this shit right now. Like right now, that just happened. Me and Squirrel got to. We're just talking about. He a killer. The rapper, what's his name? Forty two Doug. Spent a million dollars with fucking the mirror. They got a t-shirt. t-shirt and was a happy. Fucking t-shirt. But a fucking t-shirt. The niggas will come shot with me and want a deal on a hundred and fifty dollar jogging suit. But the socks they wear were nine fifty. Yeah. Cost nine fifty. You know what I'm saying? Shout out boats too. Boats. What's that? Boats. Hey, based off based the true based story. Based off the true story. True story. King mm-hmm. Diesel. Come on, man. Don't make him feel like that because he here. Nah, nah, nah. Anyway, since we talking about, I've been trying to find out. No, yeah, yeah. look, it's based off a true based story. Based off a true story. It's my nigga Diesel, man, him been locked in for years. Okay. But it was his mixtape. He saw a vision. He hit his big bro up. 
And he been pushing this shit. We been together making that shit happen. Timmy's ass had dreads. No, he cut that shit. Oh, Timmy, tell us, man. So I'm glad one of them. Hold on, hold on. Pass him over, Remy. Huh? Pass him that. He ain't going home tonight. He ain't going home tonight. No, no, no. I know he was kidding. You know I'm a fucking. Hey, like I said earlier, we need a pair and dime ship. We gotta look. See the way we look at each other. We gotta start looking at each other different, though, for real, though. Shit, look at this right now, though, bro. It's fucking how many black people in this motherfucker, bro? I mean, is it? I, I. I look at it as a reunion. You know, I went to high school with this brother. You know what I'm saying? I've known this brother a long time, but always wanted to meet you. Shorty Six, Lil Don. Niggas like his mama, I mean, his grandma, and my, and my hey, mama. Hey, Shorty Six, shout friend. out to you. Six? No, I always wanted yeah, to meet you. I always knew about you. Real listen, talk. Listen, they're, they're my fuck, this is my family. So it's like, man, this shit right here, all we got to do is keep multiplying this shit, bro, and, and just keep it. Because I know, I know my role in the, in the struggle. I'm a filmmaker, so I tell stories. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I extend my, I extend that to to Junior. You feel me? Like that's what I do. I fucking really produce do films on, Gucci? on drugs and get, I don't. <laughs> hey, yeah, you I don't wear that fucking shit. Fuck that design. Back to that, Joe. I'll be going to ask you about that. He be really recording. Yeah, hell yeah. Hey, Dave, you know, he, he, yeah. y'all did Pittsburgh. You know that? They no, I did. I did. I, 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 I done like Nigga 16 be having, and six. I'm like, I be wondering, like, how the hey, real hey. gays record nigga with kilos and shit with masks on. I'm yeah. like, is he really do that? Do they get props? So how do they, uh, can you give us an inside on how to, you got to lie. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Okay? Listen. It be real. I know. It. Well, 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 hey, <laughs> hey, hey, well, well, hey, what we're going to tell you, G, fame is a hell of a drug. Really? Yeah. Yeah. G, fame is a hell oh, of a drug, right. bro. Anything on camera. What the fuck? You ever ask yourself the nigga that's fucking just making shitloads of money in the underworld that he still wants people to know that he's fucking too and Everybody that know man. you in that, that ski mask. Yeah. The hood know you and the police know you. No, 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 no. So, all right, nah, so I'm, nah, you can't say that. Yes, so they we do. Got, no, no, no. So listen. <laughs> so we drag their voices. So you, you can't tell their voice we covered. And we got to. Like, no, no, no. I'll be nah, watching nah. the shit. Nah, and in the, in the contract. We I got saw a, a few nah, niggas nah. I know. We got a million With dollar policy. No, no. We got a million dollar policy. With like, that voice. Nah, that we will not. We cannot turn That's it. So cold. if the Fed subpoena us. It's no go. We can't give them the. So footage. y'all got to go to jail. Nah, 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 nah. The nah, 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 don't play fair. Nah, they fuck movie script. I'm telling. Nah, 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 nah. nah, 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 nah. We can release. Like, no, no. We can tell release. Nah, nah, nah. We can release. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. We can release. Nah, nah, nah. 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 Ain't no statute of limitations on that. Even the drugs, but though. The drug yeah, shit, though. They go way. Yeah, nah, like, nah, nah. Because it, 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 if it does come into, into a case, at the point where they get that shit and, we, and we're the cause of them getting that fucking uh, identity discovered, bro, we're, we're liable. It's a million so dollars. Hey, I'm not going to let a nigga wear a better mask. You can't they put your cash The mask wasn't enough. You can't put your cash We can cover it. It should only be about a million dollars. I'm telling you what I'm telling you. No, no, no. 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 No, no, listen. I do. Listen, I protect my people. Now, right, now, now, it's some white boys because the, the company is from the UK. It's some white boys, they don't give a fuck. They ain't gonna sing your ass off. Me, I make sure niggas got hand tattoos. I put gloves, gloves on, on all type of shit. Because you know, I, I did the Chicago versions, bro. So, but the guns and cocaine is pop. Hold, hold on, you getting for pop. Look, hold nah, on. Nah, the shit, part y'all missing is this, right? It's props. Not on my. The nah, cocaine and the guns be props. Yeah, props. No, he, told me he said pops. real bricks. He said real bricks. He said real bricks. Look, but the whole world. I've been in the real mess. This nigga is a gang member. The moral of the story is clout is a hell of a drug. Yeah, it is. Clout is a hell of a drug. Nah, but it all caused. Always come down to fucking man. It's just fame. It's a hell of a drug. Wow. Like, niggas, what? Literally, you know, on listen, literally, niggas. We don't even have to fucking some of these cities. We touch down there, bro. They call us like, yo. I think I got I eight got, murders. I got, I got thirty six bricks. I got pull a up. Warehouse with thirty motherfucking this? guns, sixty <laughs> bricks. Hey, I come videotape me, and we be listen. Me and my producers be like, what? 
<laughs> but it's like shit. All right, cool. Of you gonna you go wear this bozo the clown mask? Then yeah, fuck it. Boom, man. <laughs> And as it is, right, I, I, no, no, I come up in, a, I come up in a different time. I'm right here now, <laughs> uh, on this whole thing to to free my father and try to tell the right story. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm like, damn, should I be out here in front of people doing this? Like, I don't understand this whole uh, clout mm-hmm. thing. You know what I mean? I see nah, it nah, it's, it's it's very, very. My son very... want to be seen. I'm like, damn, do I gotta be seen? Yeah. Well, yeah. you gonna be in the front of this movement. You gotta. Be if you're gonna yeah. push your agenda, yeah. you have. Yeah. Be just saying, like, like we were just talking yeah, about, like, just even, talking about even with these kids trying to get fucking record deals, bro. They don't really. The music is last. We they just want to know what your social presence is like. Yeah, even yeah. in my field, it's fucking when I cast somebody for a movie. Yeah, we looking yeah, like followers. oh, he got eighty thousand followers. This nigga got sixteen. Yeah, we gonna cast him because he gonna be able to sell yeah, and further yeah, market yeah. this. You know what I mean? Because it all comes down to money. We live in an age where yeah. everything is about fucking. Numbers, mm-hmm. numbers move the fucking world right now, bro. Mm-hmm. So it, numbers it lie too. Hey, for the people that don't know, numbers lie for the people. But, 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 but it's it the same way now. They don't pick an artist off talent. Nah. They pick an artist off how many what, years, what, right? social yeah. influence. Yeah, yeah. 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 What, influence. what he got hot already? How many yeah. people checking for yeah. him now? The yeah. influence, bro. He could be cold. They ain't developing the artists. They don't get no Ain't no more artists developing. And they and they fucking the shit out of artists because they'll give you a. Two million dollar deal, a million dollar budget, but you got to go to their studio and record for forty five hundred dollars. Let me roll it. Let me play oh, devil's advocate, yeah. bro. What? It's that's a, fuck it. Now listen, fake. It's in, no, it's an agreement, bro. That it both is. parties agree upon, bro. It's no different than a motherfucker. You can say a person with a home loan 30, 30 years. Mm. Fucking thirty years. By the time you pay for the house, how much is the house worth? You didn't pay. You didn't, you didn't pay, pay double, double that. Yeah, you yeah. Pay double. It's the same. A, a fucking, no, 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 no. It's not. No, no, it's no. not. No, it's not. Listen. Can I like explain every one dollar that I that record first? label gives you? They expect five dollars. Okay. Back. Man, can I explain first? That's, that's, that's fine. Like no, listen. That's agreement. Agreement. Okay. So listen. Right. So listen. A record label will tell you we got a two million dollar deal for you. He got a million dollar budget, right? You say I'm going to build a fucking studio myself I'm and spend forty, fifty thousand 50000 No. Yeah. They, they and told people no. You're going to go the whole for, thing yeah, we pay for $5,800 an hour. An we hour. Pay him. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say, I have it. not witnessed no, that. They do that. No, I'm saying, listen, they this, this is fact. Because Hold on, this is fact. Heavy, though, so bro. now, you take this poor kid from fucking Chicago, inner city kid, he in the trenches, he got 30s on him, all this shit. Now, you're showing the pictures of Puffy, Dirky O, yeah, Dirty Her, Pace contract. all this shit. Yeah. So he looking, he like, damn, fuck it, that little budget. Fuck it, damn. I'm going to go to the studio, 4500 an hour. I'm going to record all no, the numbers. They don't be knowing the numbers. They don't even know. They just they like, don't. They just listen, get bro. Two Jeez, this fuck shit that. be happening. No, 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 listen, happen. listen. I get that. I get that, bro. But it's just like in a fucking car. A lot of niggas don't watch their APR. The, the fucking home loan, a lot of these don't like the interest. Like, you have to fucking get Read an attorney. Fuck that. Bro. Tell us about Freddie Gibbs hey, then, because he signed a Jeezy. Hey, look, what happened? Hey, I'm going to act like Skrill hey, right there. Like I said, oh, it's 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 I don't mean to cut you off. I don't mean to cut you off. Tell us about Freddie Gibbs right now, because he signed a Jeezy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Listen, listen. He signed a Jeezy. Listen, so therefore, that's a fucking situation. I right. can't speak on because I wasn't Was there. it a bad come but, a bad I like you said. but I can tell you, it wasn't fucking had any, it had nothing to do with the fucking money. Right. Nobody in that situation is about the money. No, fuck that. Nobody in that situation flourished. Ooh. Not, not, not one that's fucking, a good thing, right? no, not one CTE member flourished, bro. So therefore, you have to say though it breaks down to bro. It wasn't that situation. It was they signed to an artist, bro, that was fucking still figuring the shit out himself. Agreed. He was still fucking working and trying to fucking find his own life. It's just like every fucking artist that signed to Ludacris, Eminem, none of those motherfuckers have accomplished it fucking nearly nothing. Rockefeller. Rockefeller. No, no, I'm saying that made it. Yeah. What? No, he's saying they no, no, I'm saying they didn't though. State did. property and shit. So it's just no. like when you deal with it, when you sign to an artist, bro, that's fucking still in this shit. We, I'm 40, my nigga. But could you imagine you signing to a 20 year old Will Gates? What the fuck that would be like, my nigga? Fucked up. Horrible. You're giving me switches. Atrocious, my nigga. Atrocious, bro. So therefore, you can't fucking hold that against those men because right, okay, their intentions cool. were good. 
Now I'm well, asking it, you. It didn't I'm fucking asking turn the people out that way. The people want to know. Now listen, but right I'm now, like truth teller right now. But now that's good. Niggas don't need contracts either, though. Now fuck all that. But I can tell you right now. But I can tell you right now. My brother overcome that you shit. He's fucking up. He's a multi. But hold on. Now. The one thing I know this is, he's definitely doing his thing because he's and in those rooms. He's never had no fucking, never ever had a song. You can't be in the rooms ever. without That's your true. shit ever. being back. Yeah. You can't be in them. He Listen, rubbing bro. elbows like this. He got me Grammy nominated, so that's all I like to yeah, say. That's you, feel me? you bringing him on the show? We got to record yeah. this shit too. Nah, listen. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, Lord, you got to oh, come. Man. Hey, got too I, many I'm under pressure, yeah. better folks. Then you got to count. You got to. I ain't gonna lie. What they say? I'm pressing niggas. Nah, nah. Listen, listen. listen. <laughs> I'm pressing. Nah, 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 nah. I make shit happen. Hey, Gates, you ain't about to tell me you ain't heard about these these motherfucking contract budgets, bro. Come on now. No, no, no. But no, 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 no. No, no, no. Fuck that. No, no. Look, this is just that. It's a bad. There is such thing. The bad contract, bro. But I'm saying, though, bro, I'm a businessman. So, nigga, we didn't all we all from the hood. We didn't all bought these dumbass foreigners. Yeah. Well, our fucking interest rate. I ain't never bought one for. But now I have. Now we said most. Most I have. No, no. Yeah, you bought one. Homies. Nah, you bought one with the bogus ass interest rate. I bought. Oh one, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah. I've been twenty nine percent. My shit was sixty eight percent. My first fucking car was a Dodge Stratus to the APR level. 48%. Listen, bro. I bought a motherfucking Chevy Lumina with TVs in that bitch, with a VCR in that bitch. I love a fucking APR. I'm like 38%. I'm paying goddamn it like My note used to change if I was a day late. It went from, look, it went from there 80 to 1900. Gee, I done had a fucking... I done had Jaguars. I done had G-Wagons. Wasting no questions. The worst fucking financial... South Chicago Dodds. South Chicago Dodds. Yeah. I walked in there. Are you mad at them? No. Put them on blast. No. They... they, No, hold on. Hold on. Put them on blast. Hey, look, hey, look. I get his boy, though. I know. Hold on. They really put me on game. It's business, bro. I was like, damn. When I went back, I'm like, I signed this shit. 48%. Hey, hey, hey. Bro, I paid fucking that shit was hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars right. before they gave you the loan. Listen, me and my ex wife, before, like it's a before. great deal. Thirty years, bro. I'm probably gonna by the time I finish that book, that and gave them people like six hundred. You ain't gonna be here. Yeah. I'm not gonna be here. Listen, I get my son. He ain't gonna be in debt. Now listen. Now listen, my mother. Listen, rest in peace, my mother and my father. They cleaned they shelf up. They left yeah. me a bill. All right, rest in peace. Listen. Fuck that. They left me a goddamn bill, bro. Yeah. Fuck the bill. You thought you was doing it. I was like, woo! Another bill in my portfolio. Yes. <laughs> Check that motherfucking mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> Check out how much work needs to be done in this motherfucking building. I say, God damn it, they fucked me. I love it. Hey, they look. They fucked me, though. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, exactly. 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 This is a true story, Stop. right? I ain't been beating up one of my cousins for not paying rent for nine months to that motherfucker. No, no, no. I love my family. It's business. I business. And I had to fucking, the wrath of God struck down, and my family mad at me to this day. I love y'all. No, but look, don't be mad, mad though. Look, bad. look, you can't be mad. Because dude told me, I'm going to do your credit. I'm going to do your credit. I'm going to put you at a 760. You can go get you a new car and all that. How much you pay well, I'm thinking like three thousand. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 that time is early. People yeah. don't know y'all fix the credit. Three thousand right. inside the deal. You I buy. go in now. They like, yeah, this brand new showroom flow. You know, showroom flow make you feel a certain type right. of way. Right. Right. Yeah, right. 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 this bitch say Dodge Stratus on the back. Look, they put on that thing where the car spin is slow. Hey, the car spin is slow though. We got a warranty and everything. Hey, look, the warranty. Hey, 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 wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on, look. I get up in there, bitch. The car spin is slow. Every car that I that I saw my daddy buy, my granddaddy buy, the bitch said 900,000 <laughs> and 23,000 miles, right? I get in this bitch. This bitch takes 17 miles. They say it's only the miles when it came off the truck. Right. I'm like, I'm snapping in this bitch. I ain't gonna lie, I'm snapping. He said, like, Mr. Williams, right here, he shows me the paperwork, right? Boom, boom, boom. This shit big. 
Forty-eight percent APR. You like cool? Uh, you like nigga? Like, what's up? Sign me up, they boy. Cool. Two twenty a month, boy. You could do that. He told me he said the APR go to a hundred. You ain't over fifty. You good? I'm damn. I'm at forty-eight. I'm thinking basketball numbers. Forty-eight percent for the big boy. I'm good. I'm good. It's decent though. Hey, hey man, man your ass I get the ride. I get the ride. I'm kicking it. It's time to pay this bitch. This bitch. Eleven fifty four. No ladder, no rule. Roll down Not window. Roll. No ladder. Yeah. Yeah. No look. Yeah. 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 The Education. thing up under the bottom, you got to pull the seat back. Boom. Right. Seat pull it up. No you rolling the window down? Yes, definitely. Yeah, no 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 but I'm telling you something. That I paid for knowledge. Yeah. You know what? Education. I paid for it. Yeah. Hey, you keep learning. You. It's a lot of. Hard lessons out here in the world. Yeah. So ain't nobody responsible to teach teach like you said it's business. So you don't think there's somebody in this that is, So that is that is contract. our you know, so that is our job as a fucking community. Because one thing, me and you went to Limbloom, bro. They never taught us about financial. Look at us we talk too. Yeah. Damn, G. I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> we got we went to high school. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, y'all went to high school. high school. Y'all went no, hey, y'all went no evil. Swoosh, swoosh, hey, nigga say no. Limbloom. No. Hey, nigga say Limbloom. They like damn. Hold on. Yeah, First yeah, of yeah. all, I went to CVS. Juwan just slapped the motherfucker yesterday. <laughs> y'all don't, <laughs> yes, y'all don't know this, <laughs> nigga. I hope he keeps his job, man. What fuck y'all talking about, nigga? Juwan, how? He slapped another coach. Yeah, slapped another coach. He reached around somebody. Nah, nah, so dude taxed him though, so he justified. He ta- he pushed him first. No, man, man, that's just the CBS yeah, enough. That's yeah. that East Side shit, nigga. Yeah, but so, nah. But tell but y'all nah, live blue, look at that. Yeah, nah, 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 fuck that. But nah, I think that they we should we supposed to think we supposed to teach our children about fucking finances, bro. We never we didn't learn this shit. No, nah, they gave you a thousand dollar credit card. They nah, listen. You have to fucking implement it. Yeah. We have to implement yeah, that. Because when I went to college, they gave me a thousand dollar credit card. I didn't know shit about Max credit. I'm like, maxing that bitch it. like boy, like real yeah, life. Pay twenty five dollars. Hey, listen, no. they, yeah, they tell me twenty five dollars. Boy, that interest rate, boy, before you know it, out of all them people, four like thousand, four like thousand. Capital One, boy, it's like. Five thousand off that one buck they gave me. Yeah, you they say sure. this car gonna help you build your credit. But listen, yeah. I'm dirt fucking poor as a college student, bro. Like, so it's like I'm buying bitches, Mad Dog 2020. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Have all that shit is funny. Yeah, what kind of bitches you fucking drinking Mad Dog? College, college, college. They just be in college. College, you know that? No, no. So, so one thing about college, everybody not for I went. My hoes did cocaine. Cocaine and beer. Now, see, I ain't drunk. Cool's light. See, some bitches didn't. Drink no man, well, dog. Still, yeah. I had different hoes. It's, still, yeah. it's, it's all the, it's all small town. It's, it's all it's us all New Mexico small. State. Now listen, yeah, but it's all good. small town women, though, bro. You gotta think we in Chicago, we Columbia college. Yeah. So it's all it's small town. town. Mad dog. My mom ain't even drink that. But but listen, I couldn't afford nothing else, so I'm happy these hoes had a thousand dollars. Why you fucking me? You had a thousand dollars. Listen, she said, "Mad dog." I said, "Yes, I got this." Well, he said, "I got this." She was like, "She was like, or something." You smoking? Yeah, I can't do nothing for you. Mad dog. Uh, hold on, hold on. Well, I'm trying to think. He said, "What's the what was?" I'm it? trying to think of the liquor we used to drink. It was a um, Cisco. 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 Yes. Crack cocaine in a yeah. bottle. Liquor. No, no, no. They still cold. It was crack cocaine. Now, hold on. I remember going to a college bar and drinking two eleven, bro. I went to I went to New Mexico. I went to New Mexico. They didn't drink it. They did cocaine when I when I my first party as a teenager. But you went to Remy. Hey, look, my first party as a teenager when I went to fucking college. They was drinking fucking no. No, I threw up on the table. You gonna let me tell you or you gonna tell me? I'm gonna tell you now. Yeah. Cool as light. Cool as light. White boy shit. And white cocaine. Shit. Yeah. yeah. I didn't do it, but when I went there, everybody was just rocking out, drinking cool as light. The cool as light or the cocaine? Busting the, the fuck. Daddy! <laughs> 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 yeah! Daddy! Yeah! yeah. 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 He done tried it. Look, he was curious. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I ain't not, not one time. Not one time in my life. 
And if yeah. anybody know me, I'm, hey, well, I'm an ex D boy. City, he seen that. I ain't never. Well, my father was like, 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 Hold on. My father was struck out on heroin, so I knew that shit yes, was good for me. Anybody know me, know I was a hoop star, all city, all state, yeah. all American, all the more mention. To this day. They know this shit. So my mama just smoked crack. I would never smoke weed from a bomb, G. I would never smoke that pipe. That just can't look like a pipe. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I ain't no bombs and no pipes. Some shit you just ain't going to do. I just remember being mad with my dad and being high that time. Of course. He just a little bit. He definitely hit that. And roll some white bitches. Yeah. I, know I did it. I'm guilty of that. Man. I, know I ain't gonna lie. I go with the fucking the rodeo team. So, look, this shit was different. I come from Chicago, the East Side, Alparts, all the gangsters, kick. Yeah. Then I go to fucking Albuquerque in fucking New Mexico. Right. And this shit was different for me. It was like they was doing cocaine, drinking coolest lights. And it was a bunch of cowboys. They got spurs on the back of their boots, big ass buckles. So they mess with you probably hey, mess with white, white people. people. Black people. Mexicans at that? Mexico State, man. No, white people. It ain't no yeah. Mexicans at New Mexico State. No, it's no. Crazy. It was white Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Bro, no, it's New Mexico State. Not Mexico. Not Mexico. New Mexico. New. This is new. Oh, that ain't in Mexico. No, New Mexico. The concept's cool. New Mexico. It's a New Mexico, meaning it's New England. It's a New England. It's a New. We. It's part of our. Bro, you got England, New England, and white people took over this shit. Mexico, New Mexico, white people took over this shit. Right. They right now it's they build a new, new Chicago, a new right. Chicago. Right. Right. White people taking up social the field. They finna be here. None of that shit. And it's a new Chicago. What the fuck is going on? Kanky kids or something? We ain't going there though. Yeah, that's we ain't yeah, going yeah. there. What you finna say? No, I'm just saying. That. We're, we don't want to catch a violation right now. We don't, don't want to get TV folks. We don't want to catch a violation right now. So let them speak. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying they were having a good time though. They were, they were drinking cores and tuning cocaine and shit, but they wasn't harming each other. No, they yeah, weren't. I'll take, take, take that arrow. I'll take that I'll take that arrow too. Cores, cocaine, and no violence. I right. think that. And Ron, and Ron, Ron was dead. Ron, you probably died. no. They was catching AIDS at them times. No, not this one. Which which which, which years? Set. 70s, 80s? No, the 80s, no. The 70s, 90s. Okay, the 90s, they was catching AIDS, right? That was in grammar school. 90s was HIV. Yeah, I remember hearing about it in grammar school and from there. Matter of fact, the worst they made, the worst they made, Magic Johnson, the poster boy. That's when HIV became famous. I was in high school and, uh, I had a assembly. I went to a white high school for Dominic. It was like, <laughs> man, AIDS, the AIDS was <laughs> mainly affected by, uh, was mainly affected, no, no. Jail. No, white guys. Uh, oh. Certain oh. age white guys. Ooh, I ain't never heard that. Yeah, I school. never heard that one. No. But this happened at school, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of that school? That shit sound like the name of that school sound like Jacob Lattimore. Jacob Lattimore. I went to Jacob Lattimore Elementary. Hey, the white boys. Brother Rice, though, they were saying it was. Oh no, Brother Rice was black though. No, no, it wasn't. No, at that time. No, what was it? On ninety ninety for last. Hey, brother. It's a Catholic school. They play with Leo and Yeah, they say maybe young white white dudes was getting it at the time. I'm like, oh man, thank you. He was like, right. Like, you yeah, you continue to roll the motherfucking road. Right, 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 Mr. Hooper, I'm in the hallway. I'm in the hallway. Hey, Mr. Hooper, <laughs> you have to wear rubbers, Mr. Hooper. Right, right. right. Strap up, kid. That was Ron O'Cooley High. It was right here. It was right here. It was right here. You ever been caught up? Fucking high school, bro. Huh? You ever been caught up? I just missed Cooley High. Yeah. Exactly. You went to Limbo. Hey, they was passing like that shit around. Right? No, 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 listen. No, 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 no Limbo, nigga, we had the most pregnant women. In, see, here's the thing. Motherfuckers, right with his year, they year fuck. This is a true story. They year fuck. You just have to take a test, first of all, to get in that bitch. They what type year, of test? Like a so HIV. HIV. No, no, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. real. No, academic. Like academic, academic, academic hey. Because CBS, you had to take no. an AIDS test to go there. No, you had to take an I heard y'all was smoking No, no they man. fucked our school. Don't shit you here. They fucked our school <laughs> up. They turned our shit to Inglewood. They sad. left the CDs in the dope. They, 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 they fucked our school up. Bitch. They turned our shit to Harper yeah. Junior, Junior. Yeah, we did. Right? Niggas definitely got Then my year came right behind them and fucked it all the way up. Limbloom turned to CBS. I swear to God. But guess what? We, it's back. But guess what I Guess what the reactions was? Oh, you go to Limbloom? Fuck you talking about? You ain't get the reaction for CBS. No. When I was, the, my reaction was, 
You got a condom. See? Because you go to CVS. Well, that's that's like, how it was for me. Crab right? Crab you used to hear that back in the day, right? <laughs> what he said like, for crab balance and, and here, we started talking about uh, letting these shorties know what's going on. Hey, they don't even know it's a choice to have a motherfucker child. You can choose that. No, put a condom on. Wait, whoa. And you wait, can choose right. that. You can choose Condoms money. are cheap, guys. To have, to have fucking cheap. Whether you want to have How many kids, kids you got? Yeah. Two. How many kids you got? I got two. How many kids you got? And I didn't choose when it happened. It just happened. How many kids you got? Now, my shit was true. My shit was planned. I got three bottles. I got to choose. Because the woman I married at the time was a fucking... Come on, let him go. You can make that choice whether to wear a condom in... You know what I mean? If you can make that choice ready to claim saying. that motherfucker too, though. You know, Give him some old Remy. He making bad decisions tonight. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I fucked up already. Yeah, but no, for real, all good, though. You ain't, go you ain't gotta have no kids. You ain't gotta go wrong. You can fuck Hey, I got so many motherfucking nephews. You might not be stuck with some crazy shit that you don't really know for the next yeah. 18, yeah. 20 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what? I gotta stop promoting raw sex. You do, bro. He raw dog king. No, no, I, I got the ladies so I be raw. I'm just, I love that hey, shit. I'm raw too, but I got raw. Like, we all raw, dog. What yeah. human action? Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying. If I you had a choice, we're going to go raw every time. I ain't going to even lie to you. Yeah. I just Sometimes. Been, look, now, look. I'll purposely stay out hey, of this conversation. I, I know everybody in this, right? Like, <laughs> I done been riding. Like, yeah, I'm going to slide. Boo, boo. Get some condoms. Get the condom. Get in the pussy and with the condom in my head in back with the wrapper open. <laughs> but steady fucking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I think the shorties are going to call you a gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, told I don't know like how that goes. So I, it's I different. told him a little but, while ago about condoms. Hey, like this, though, you I just read to get one chick. And every now and then, I might just put a condom on just because, just to see. I feel like you cheat. Larry, condoms <laughs> is nasty, bro. <laughs> I don't have to do no more. Condoms when nasty. I need to, I just fucking up. But they nasty. <laughs> yeah, I hate you. Because you wear a condom because you in your mind like this. Don't this listen to him. Don't, don't, fuck. Hey, don't listen to him. nasty. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> you literally like, I really want to fuck. But she might got some. I'm going to get caught. That's that nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's Pete. You nasty. You nasty. I don't know. I trust you. No, it's true. I trust you. No, it's choice to have a baby. No, you ain't hear me. He that's still nasty. Everything. You wear the collar. You nasty. You really need no match. So you say you ain't gonna have no sex with what nobody. What I'm saying is, the average woman ain't wearing a condom. But some of us don't want to have kids, though. Yeah. Listen to me. Condoms are not for fucking pregnancy because it's like 12 different type of birth control pills out of bitches be on all seven of them. But right. that's at their discretion. The you condom, trust them. The condom is for the thought process of if you say, I don't want to catch nah. that. Yes, it is. That bitch got that spermicide on that. Y'all need a condom. Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. I ain't never fucked. Y'all nasty. I don't want to get her pregnant. Y'all nasty. I do. Boy, you ain't got to know her. You don't wear a condom. You ain't got to know her. You ever fuck? You ever finna fuck a bride and I'm finna put a rubber on because I want to catch. I want to have a baby. Or no. you put it on because you want to catch something. Because you want to catch something. I do it for both. Yeah. Both? I, I do, do it for both. Because like, like, like she nasty as fuck. Baby and she can never baby. raise my now, child. Now, look. Women don't even get pregnant <laughs> until they want to. Look. That's you what I'm saying. saying. So, why, so <laughs> that's where the condom is put in play. <laughs> I get it. But that's why the condom is put in play. But if you got to she know her. to take that pill. But if you get to know her. You can know that that pussy clean, and you gonna know when she can get pregnant. Oh, but when you fucking strangers and and prostitutes and shit, you wearing condoms. You nasty, bro. You don't hey, know her. You don't know what she hey, got. You better put on the counter fucking that prostitute. That's what I'm saying. Hey, you paying? You why big, you even paying? And gonna fall off, man. Why'd you even fucking prostitute? See, here go my thing. You might be nasty because my mind never went to prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> you just said, hey, 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 Larry, I just said, hey, Larry, 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 hey,
Hey, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Hey, you just don't gamble. Look, no, this, this is all I'm telling you. This is all I'm telling you. This is all I'm telling you. I can man. guarantee you. I swear to God, they got apps. They got apps. Mm-hmm. You can type your shit, open your shit. I can guarantee you my record throughout the years from seeing my urologist. The niggas don't even know what that word means. It's the dick doctor. Yeah, dick I can doctor. guarantee you my record more cleaner than damn near 99.7 points. But you ain't been since 2015. You ain't been since 2015. No, bro. I ain't been since 2015. No, 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 no. I've been 2021. Let me speak on this. You gotta shut up. You gotta have good morals. No, no, no. Let me speak on this. Hey, hey, let me speak. Let me, let me speak on this, bro. Yeah. All right, so listen, I'm old school, right? The reason why. That's facts. Listen, have y'all ever been, been to the dick doctor? Let Gates go. Let Gates get it. Let Gates get it. Have you ever been to the dick doctor? The urologist. Listen, he know the real. I'm old man. enough to you know, know the county dick doctor. Listen, they put the Q-tip in that's your dick. That's the county dick doctor. No, that's the county. No, no, it's not the county. It's not. It's what's that shit on fucking uh, 63rd? You ain't got no insurance. No, no, listen. You ain't got no insurance. No, 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 I've been fucking since I was 15. Yeah, but you ain't got insurance. I didn't have it at the time. Hold on. I didn't know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. No, I didn't have no insurance. He was fast enough. No, no, I didn't. But he ain't got no insurance. No, no, no. I don't know about squeezing. Okay, Listen, no. But if you ever you. been to that shit, if you ever been through that, my nigga, you're gonna fucking think about a condom, bro. Listen, you know what listen, like. listen, my sister's a nurse. My sister fucking scared me. She like, ah, oh. motherfucker had a boy. She ah, oh, she got a neural disease, brother. You gotta go get checked out. You the got this. So I take my goofy ass down there on motherfucking with the sixty third. Don't that tell me. us on low. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, listen. Nah, Boy, right across the street. You ain't got no insurance. I'm a shorty, Rob. You ain't got no insurance. I'm a shorty. 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 I'm
Yeah. Damn, you got eight hundred dollars shoes. Bro. Nah, was like y'all, it was a thousand. But that's like, my knees, though. That's my knees. Oh bro, bro. man, I don't, I don't give a damn. Well, listen, all right, right, hold on, man. Y'all do that shit on another show. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> now I want to ask you a serious question, Mr. So, and I don't mean to just <laughs> y'all. Yeah, all right, man. man. All right. I told you. Ain't hey, y'all family I'm reunion drinking, or something? I'm drinking Japanese. The school reunion or something? That's it. Nah, I didn't have my dub. All right, man. Give him some more wine, man. Let me be a moderator. All right, come on. So I got a serious question for you, Mr. Hope. Hey, man, get that nigga some cheap tissues right quick, G. <laughs> I, I got tissues. So, like, is that type of any, like, 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 resolution that the old man has came up with? Screw this is important. Oh, yeah, yeah man. You want a violation? Oh, Bring Jimmy D. Jr. in this bitch. <laughs> Jimmy D. Yeah, all right, that bat hit your little That's some foggy tail shit. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas ain't even beat. Niggas don't have to beat me, bro. I'll fight any nigga in the world. All right, hold on. All right, all right we ain't gonna do that. That's some foggy tail shit. Jimmy so, D. Jr. So, look. <laughs> is that type of... Is there any type of resolution that the old man has came up with? A plan that he think that might work to calm down some of the violence that's in Chicago? As far as like really just coming up with anything on man, this whole thing is growth and development, the thing, the platform that he laid out um years ago. You know what I mean? It's just education and teaching men how to be men and be part of society. Nothing on you know what I mean? Nothing new. Just grab the youth and, and educate them and, mm-hmm. and teach them how to be men and teach them how to be a part of this world that they that they live in. Not not the world that um they creating and making in their minds and the video games and the music from the movies, but be part of this world that they live in. Grow for development. Understand mm-hmm. how to educate yourself and be a part of it because you can do anything you want to do. You just got to Put your mind to it to find out how to do it and put the work in behind it to make it happen. Mm-hmm. And that's what, you know what I mean? That's what he believes. That's his resolution. That's what he thinks needs to be done to make the change. And, you know, he feels like as far as being fathers and mothers and grandparents and all that, we got to grab hold of our kids and not just let them go wild. It's a little crazy because the crack era where we fucked up mothers and all um, you know what I mean, the grandmothers and all that, that took away a lot from our community. Like, a lot of people that were supposed to be there, but yeah, this whole thing is pretty much um, growth and development. It's all about growing and becoming a better person mm-hmm. day by day, year by year, and that process should never stop. It stops when you die. It stops when you die. It stops when you die. Uh, so me, me, I was feeling like when everybody was doing the whole thing, like, Free Larry Hoover. Like, I was with it, but I was feeling like freeing them would it change the communities? I was like, no. Then I started thinking deeper. I said, it's a lot of older gentlemen out here, black men, mm-hmm. that these shorties look up to. Right. But those older gentlemen are afraid to speak up because of things like the RICO law. Right. And I figured that, you know what? This will work. Because if he can reach them and give them some courage to speak up about the violence and start talking to the shorties, because it's kind of like the feds and maybe where people were afraid to be like, oh, yeah, I got the pocket. I got no limit. I got this. You know what I'm saying? Right. That the old man can really influence people and educate people on how to break things down to the shortage. You know what I'm saying? Because he's been doing a lot of study. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure, like, even right now, he in tune with a lot of, like, the language and everything that's going on. So I'm definitely with the vote for friend him. And I know that he didn't make any murders or nothing like that. So it's like, yeah, definitely want to friend him. But I feel like the old man, he can make a change today, mm-hmm. And you know the crazy part about that is 
the reason why he's there right now is his influence. Mm-hmm. You know, they say that I don't want him to influence our society negatively. Yeah, but it's already negative. But the whole point yeah. of it is that he has influence. I don't believe that they want him to have the influence that he has. Even though his influence would be to make a change, it would be for the better of our community, like just anybody with influence might be considered a threat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You exactly. you might be Malcolm X, you might be Martin Luther King, you might be uh Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If you got influence Regardless how you use your influence, you can be considered a threat. Even if your influence is going to be positive and you want to see a change because you're a black man and this is your family and families that you know that's going through all this shit that's going on out here. I don't know. They act like we animals and yeah. like we like living like this. Don't nobody want to live where we got to make sure when we leave out this door right here, the strap is on us or we got security and all that yeah. type of shit. We want to be able to. Uh, Roam right. free, yeah. yeah Roam right. free, enjoy life, celebrate that this man is doing movies, and you know what I mean. This man got a show. And, clothing line too, yeah. Clothing yeah. line, just yeah. It, <laughs> but, you know, and respect them and have them enjoy life for the work that they put in. We got to go out right. here, like, right. you know what yeah. I mean. So ain't ain't nobody looking for that, but that's how they see us as monsters, or that's how they want to portray that's us. How they made us, like like that, that, yeah, they like definitely that. made us that yeah. way, but this. You know, they portray us that way yeah. because I think it just get more light on the negative activity. It's a lot of us trying to do different shit, but they don't put all the energy yeah. on that. They put yeah. all the energy on the yeah, shorty. Yeah, that's that, not the cool story to tell. Yeah, like, they put the energy yeah. on the shorty that shot the other uh, shorty. You know what I mean? The shorty at the gas station on yeah. 69th yeah. that was working at the gas that's station, heart walking breaking. home and got shot 24 oh, times. They put the energy yeah. on that and say, this is who they are. Then they say, oh, he was GD. He got this from Larry Hoover. He don't even know who Larry Hoover is. Yeah. Don't have a clue. Yeah. Don't. So, hey, man. hey, Larry, let me ask you this before, um, because I want to know this person before Will Gates, uh, Rick Ross us. He definitely about to pull the Rick Ross. Trust me. But look. What? He, I, 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 this well, bladder week. I don't know, but he about to Rick Ross us. So I wanna you got a PPG? Uh, you stay. Uh, <laughs> being, being, um, Two, three narratives, diff- different narratives of Larry, right? Streets, being in the house and North in the streets. For what aspect did you, like, which one of those narratives made you grow up and say, I want to be like my dad? From the, because we know the different few narratives, the, yeah. how he how he controlled people, this good narrative, really this narrative. You feel me? So. I grew up just visiting my father in jail my, my whole life. I'm going to the jail to visit my father. And at first, I didn't really know who he was. Then I started hearing shit. And now it's like, oh, he chief. Mm-hmm. Now I'm like, fuck, I got the same name. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say my name everywhere because I don't know what type of response it's going to get. I don't know if it's going to get a... Man, love was gonna get a that's yeah, good right there. Responsibility, you know I mean? yeah, that's tough. And I just wasn't never on no on, on no super gangster shit, but as time grew on and I got older, so then I got a little bit interested in other shit that I heard about them and like I wanna be out here, I wanna do this, blah, they skip me. But when I finally went away to college after my best friend was uh murdered, I was seeing they was marching to keep uh to keep the shut, keep them shut down. Medical centers in the in the community. They they caught the uh, they caught the rapist that was in Chatham. I mean, uh, ten thousand young black men voted. You know, what I mean, they helped Carol Mos- Carol Mosley Bryan yeah. get the office. Yeah. That's what I was influenced by. That's when yeah. I was proud enough to say, I want to. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm Larry Hoover Jr. You, you know, right what I mean, is hey yo, when they hear my name, they like Larry Hoover the the game banger, the murderer. Hold on. First of all, no, never I'm, murder I'm, nobody. First of all, I'm not him. Put that out there. That's my father. That He's not a murderer, and you know what I mean. I'm, I'm Larry Hoover Jr. Cut that out. You should be careful with what you say. You don't right. know who you talking to, but the the changes that he was making, the guy that made the peace that stopped the murders, that had all the gangs around the city comfortable to, you know what, all organizations around the city. 
Amen. that made everybody comfortable to move around the city. They knew that if they did something that was out of pocket, you didn't have to worry about nobody else doing nothing to you. Word was going to get back and your own people was going to get right. you an order. You know what I mean? That, that type of peace changed people's lives. He and that mm. people would go to jail and my father stopped them from being raped, young mm. men and shit like that. Like that's Powerful. the mm. that's the stuff that's like made me like, yeah, I'm proud to yeah, be the yeah, son yeah. of Larry Hoover. The oh he was a gangster with gangsters and blah blah skin. Yeah, whatever. But you know what I mean? That was something that's a young man, that's something he went through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he learned lessons from it. He got to see a lot of um young dudes come to prison and what have you and understand that like you gotta do something different because he told him on the ghetto boys years ago I'm y'all because I come from where you come from and I'm who you gonna be if you keep acting the way you act Mm -hmm. I mean this was over 27 years ago if you keep doing the same shit you doing y'all gonna be where I'm at because I was y'all and y'all gonna be me at this point like so all that type of you know, information and the things that we talk about when I see him, that's what makes me proud to be the son of Larry Hoover. None of that. Uh, I was chief and I was gangster and I did a lot of gangster shit in my youth and all that type that's of stuff. Big. I don't even think about none of that. I always think about the positive things he's done, even though I know everything he's done hasn't been positive, but I'm not interested in uh, none of the negative shit. It don't appease yeah, me. Years don't, ago, though. Yeah, it don't appease me. It don't even, you know, make me stick my chest out. Look like people are interested like in that. that, but it it don't make me feel no certain type. So, 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 Mister Hoover, his, a part of his push was like about voting. Do we yeah. still feel like it's important for the black people to vote? Man, we live in a certain society, right? And. And the society that we live in, and we don't take part in the process of doing what's necessary in our society, in our society how are we going to make a change? Are we going to sit outside and watch it and talk about it and the change is going to happen? Are we going to go to war and test shit up and make it happen? No, they ain't going to let us do that. We got like, to we gotta play the game. We got to be a part of the system that we live in. Right. Like, we can't expect something to happen yeah. for the system that we, we live in. We ain't doing society. nothing to deal with. But we are part of the system, and they still extending Larry fucking state illegally, and he's legally qualified, bro. So we are part of the system. We need to get unpart of the system and police ourselves like that. and come together for ourselves. But that, that's, a, that's a part of the, the movements that everybody that's involved is taking Take it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's doing their part. You feel me? Like, gang though, Gates, and guess you what? You have to listen. You got an innocent man can, right but, 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 now but, but, in nah, fucking jail. I understand that. But while listen, playing the game. I understand that, bro, but it's easier to fucking fight the fight from inside than fucking outside, bro. Yeah. So it's just like, man, at this, this point, I get it. It's fucked up. It's wrong. But we got to get inside and fight this fight from the inside if we ever fucking plan on... Fucking when he start fighting, bro, like pops to come yeah. home or anybody else that's a political prisoner to come home, bro. We gotta fucking fight from the inside. We but have we, to. But and if you fight them from the outside, they know who their enemy is. You see nah, what I'm saying? But, so, but ain't so, no so, budge though, bro. So, so you no easy. Budge. So so you easy to neutralize. You see what I'm saying? Like like that's nah, how they. Do. That's not true, like, bro. Like, that's that, why I, I that's agree with them though. Because like, it's like, like we. They, if you if you on the outside say. I'm fighting you. They know you come, they know you coming. Okay, we're gonna neutralize your ass. We yeah, about to do quiet it. Anyway. Fight asses, physical, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do you saying? know what inside? Or we're gonna lock your ass but, up. But, 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 no, inside no, what? but do you know what being in the inside does though? No, I'm with I'm with the No, I'm saying inside. being in the inside, being the that, inside that, no, no. Brown, no, 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 black no, no, no. But being in the That's inside all that no, shit. but being in the inside lets you know their weaknesses. That's and true. it lets you know exactly how their their plan of attack yeah, and all that. So therefore, you oppose a bigger threat being on the inside than on the outside. Oh, you care about because on the outside, you can you can listen. You can fucking do all of the screaming, tearing up, and all that shit. Yeah. But you'll never know their true plan if you're on the outside. All right, but check this out. I, I just want to say that when you say that he's innocent, so for the crime that they charged him with, okay, to be specific, they charged him with it. He served his time, right? You know, same people with the same, the, the served the, with the same sentencing that he got has been released. And it's fucking murder. It's the exact, fucking, yeah, it's the exact same child molesters so, that came. Home I just want people to understand that what we fighting for is the fact that 
he qualifies to be released just like every other and individual was a threat, bro. that was on his case. But they been illegal while How old is your father, game, bro? Larry? My old man is, is, is 71. 70, what the fuck is a 71-year-old going to do to, to, to fucking cause a threat to, to today's It ain't really about that, though, No, no, no. But I'm 71-year-olds no, kill no, 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 too, listen, bro. Listen, 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 listen. Let's just be real, though, bro. They do. A lot of people don't know. Your, your father been locked up since 73. Right. A lot of people don't even know that. You know how many niggas I done fucking had a conversation with and they think Larry has been locked up in the 80s or the 90s. But they don't even know 70s. We no, talking no, about no, no, no. But, but legally, I'm saying, bro. Fuck the age. Bro, they we got fucking... Legally. But, but listen, we have mobsters that he fucking... He qualifies can, no, 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 out, I baby. get it. And he's but listen, not out. But no, but... but it, and we said talking no, no, about playing No, 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 listen, listen. But there's a lot of things. It's bigger than what we're thinking it is, bro. It's racism. It's injustice. It's everything, bro. You got Sammy, racism the bull. Listen, listen you have Sammy, Sammy the bull. That fucking Colorado. committed to fucking 17 he murders. He brought the pills. Was man. home. No, no, no. Fuck the pills, bro. The murders. Bro, he's home because he gave up one man... We're just saying, bro, it's, it all boils down to the injustice, bro. Racial, fucking equality-wise, like, just, I, I just feel like he deserves to be home, bro. And, and also might, tell him shit, because a lot of them niggas this. that's home told so he gonna about have, other shit that they ain't had. But his guys that's didn't agreed. tell they came home. The yeah, so a lot of guys so got, 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 got their time no, back. Yes, they told they came home dirt years crush. ago. I mean, it's but I'm saying home. way before then, like yeah, come on, 10, man. 12 years in, it? guys that was telling on people, they came home. These other guys came home because of the first, uh, the first step act where it changed the drug law. They was charging us three, four times as much for crack cocaine as, as powder as cocaine. Straight and powder. For powder cocaine. So yeah. once they got that together, the amount of crack cocaine that they put on their case they got time served because you couldn't give them that much time for it. So under under that right there is why he deserves to come home because he got charged he with, the, served th- with the same thing. But it's under the judge's discrepancy. That's the we he, he in the he's in the hands of the judge. Racism and equality. Exactly. Huh? Exactly. Exactly. Play, bro, because it's a boys club, bro. But yeah. that's all that. That's, that's all racism. That's the, yeah, that's the system. Yeah. So that, racism how many, how many of us bro lawyers, bro, and a lawyer fucking know the judge and know the prosecutor and, and just be like, hey, that's my homie. Let me talk yeah. to him. And, and, and the motherfucker, you pay them a side of money. They all homies, yes, bro. They all play. The same yeah. That's fucked up. Yes. So help me understand this part. Like, y'all don't think like, voting gonna fix that? So y'all ask crazy. Nah, it's, a, it's, nah, it's, his, it's his part though, bro. Nah, not y'all it, it, vote. You it's part, not my new. Hey, y'all still talking about voting? Hey, hey, it's not my new. How, how you feel like you should do it? Just you gotta say do fuck it and not. Yeah. You wanna know my real plan for real? Yeah. What's your real plan? It's so simple. If we come together, right? Right. We cause chaos. Who is we? The, the, the culture. Fuck the okay. The culture. Same people, one that's killing each other. Because it's, yeah, yeah it's Fem- all them. Fuck the time out. Let's get to the same ones that's killing each other. Same ones that's killing each other. Same ones that's bad businesses. Let's add them all. All of them. Okay, come on. We put them all in one. Yeah. Right? When you make a fucking law, right? 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 This is why the gay community get rights. This is why white people get rights. They pay and make noise. You know All why? Is fucking march. You know why? No, 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 hold on. Let me tell you how simple this shit is. Because when you come together and you really do this shit, you know what they gonna do? They gonna give you a fucking crumb. Everybody gonna be cool with that. Sit the fuck back down. And they gonna say vote. Now, as I said prior, you literally, literally telling you, nigga, you gotta vote. For the fucking, for equality, for us to treat you decent. Nigga, you gotta vote for it, nigga. Listen, imagine your motherfucking mama in your house telling you, nigga, how I treat my kids. All three of y'all, y'all ass gotta vote on which one the fuck, on how I make these, which one of y'all I'm gonna treat fairly. So, can I talk now? Fairly, okay. listen, equally. Listen, you gotta listen, vote. Listen, listen okay, I get okay, that, okay. but bro said that it's on the fucking judge's discretion. So therefore, you know our, but no, 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 no,
are real fucking judges, tell bro. Me that we can vote them can in. Tell me about and they can fucking swing this what? shit. Tell, tell me that's about the balance. Tell you. Tell me about you. I tell me about the Tell me about this judge. We have to know about him. No, no, no. We got to vote those judges in. TP, vote. We got to vote those judges in. All right, name me a judge we should vote for. No, look here. I'm going to tell you about We got to get him in the Can he name me a judge? Do you talk about the 21st century? Y'all got to let it go. Let me tell you. 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 Let me Cause we ain't put our own judges in place. We exactly. Ain't, we ain't got what together. What judges do we got? We know a fucking million. Yeah, you got to do a whole lot. That's how that's how we that's how we supposed to be brothers. Yes. Yes. And y'all telling me to do my homework. Yes. Yes. I swear to God, that's politics. If I knew a certain judge, if I knew a certain judge, I would sit right here we and I would tell y'all about him. I would never in my fucking life. But you gonna take? But you gonna take our word? You gotta be a turn. I'm your brother. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna never say, hey, do your homework. I'm gonna say, look. And he know I ain't flex. If I know something, nigga, you do something, you show something, nigga. When you know something, you show something, no, nigga. What y'all talking about? Gotta put him in power, I, if bro. I know I'm not a judge, so you say we got a no African American judges, bro. We got a program. We got a American judges. I'm a director, I'm nigga. Not that, and I'm, for, I'm one of the guys. I'm not talking about ethnicity. How many fucking directors do you know that's fucking not, a part of growth and development? I'm not talking about ethnicity. It's a real thing, bro. I'm not talking about ethnicity. But we have to empower our game, bro. I'm talking about Larry Hoover, whoever judge they put up. Yeah. On his ass. You got to get a on. One thing, one thing y'all got to understand is, you know, judges got a, a job for life, man. Supreme Court, they can be on there for life. For life. And let's they vote been there for 60 out. years. We got to vote, vote them they out. Got, if you dare until you die, that's life. Fuck is y'all talking we about? We got to vote them out, bro. You can't, how can you not vote them out in 60 years? They ain't been voted out yet. Because we we not, we're not voting. That's what you believe, listen, bro. I, listen. You believe that? In my early you years of voting, you name oh, listen, judges right listen, now. And listen, in my in my early years of voting, nigga, I promise you, a bro, I would go straight oh, to the presidential. Oh, what's in that? I would go. Oh, listen, Obama listen, 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 listen. I would go. Listen, <laughs> I would tell you when when Obama was in office. I, I, I listen. I realistically went to Obama and fucking voted for him yes. and didn't vote for nobody else, bro. Yes. And that hurt us more than it fucking healed us. No, bro. you know what hurt us is motherfucking being ignorant to the fact because. We take our own definitions and make shit shit when ignorant literally only means you don't know. You're not aware of. So we tell them for a bro, you ignorant to the but fact. But if nobody's helping, nobody's helping that fucking kid because that went to fucking see you know, or because, a limb room that's ready for job. Your research. My homegirl right now ready for sin. No, you have to do your own research. You gotta do your own research. But it's my thing. No, you got to. You got to. Listen. That shit takes 12 years. I can tell you to vote for this man right here and me and him got a personal agenda. Why would you tell me that as a coach as a brother? Listen, listen fuck that brother you shit. shit. You need man. to do your own homework and see where he's staying. I'm talking vote. about us like, coming together. Shit. I ain't talking about no snake shit and no goofy shit. I'm talking about what we up here saying to make a change. It's a people nigga, in power, To make a bro. change, nigga, I'm going to tell my brother about this 40-page contract. And but his agenda may not fit your agenda why you should vote for him more than his skin color. That's man. why you need to know his what agenda, the fuck you His agenda is more for the people than the black His agenda is getting Larry Hoover out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. I'm we got to talk about up shit. Ain't none of y'all name speaking. not one judge that we should vote for. That's why I know y'all was just saying anything. Hit the cap. Name a judge we should vote for. Hey, he not got this. Name a judge. Hey, he can't get no other, he can't get no other judge. He's stuck with the judge See, that he dealt why? with. That's what I'm but saying. until he die. But guess what we can do? Yeah. So why are we voting? Hey, don't say that shit. Change change the show. Show. I'm saying, I'm saying, everybody. Hey, he gonna say it. Right. He gonna say it. Put that shit on. Put that shit on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said about voting don't even help him. Right? Hold on, hold on. You said voting don't even help him. Right? It can't help him though. No, no. Say what? Voting can't help him because he can't get a new judge. No, I say it won't help him get. New judge, right? Like we can't change the judge right. that's on this situation. But there's other brothers out here that's in that the struggle. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't the way the system works that we dealing with. But the we the can, plan, but we right? can get judges in the place to go help people to, after him. Right. We haven't worked on putting specific judges in place. You know what I mean? Like, well, we can't we, remove we, a judge. It don't matter because they there. 
But well, voting gotta, matters. It does. <laughs> in other situations, that situation. We need it to matter when it count, bro. We need it to matter for our people to be and not look, locked we, up we, and we shit. We understand how this stuff go. I, my, my goal, well, not my goal, but what I was thinking is we got to have a situation where we can really understand the whole voting system and who we voting for. Right I now, agree. right now we vote as Democrats, right? Yeah. Other people vote as Republicans. All black people don't vote as Democrats. But just listen to what I'm saying. This is what, what I'm saying. We, we vote as Democrats and Republicans because we identify with Democrat or Republicans. We don't know all the people that's running in all the different situations. Yeah, exactly. We don't know what their beliefs are. And we just vote with what we go with. Oh, right. Like it needs to be a situation where we understand because just because somebody's a Republican don't mean they're against they fight. it. Just because somebody's a Democrat or don't mean they, that they for right. Just because they black right. don't mean okay. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, we need a, a program or a situation to pass this information to our people. Correct. You know what I mean? So we can do Education. but we can choose the right people. Also, what I'm saying, we don't understand. We can fight, we can work to get put in these positions. We can do our grassroots shit and come together yeah. and push people through the ranks to get what we need them at. That's why our vote come in at, but we can't come together and figure out who we want to deal with. Just like right now. Uh we gonna need the mayor. She probably ain't gonna make it, right? Glory. Right. Yeah. She ain't gonna make it. Are we gonna come together and pick a candidate? No, we're not. Okay, now look at the um, not the uh congressman, Bobby Rush. He out of there. Yeah, he's like got ninety. But look, we got, but look, we got eight different yeah, people trying to get his spot. But he can't even come we got together. But my whole girl, how long is he real? Real, real. To answer your question, you can because that shit up for motherfucking consideration right now. You can vote and change the constitution and change the term limits on shit or extend judges in the Supreme Court. That's why you got to do... Yes, they... Listen, you can. You can change the term limits if you change the constitution. You see what I'm saying? If, 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 like, you can change on presidents, senators, judges, and everything. This is why you have to educate yourself about something that you're just criticizing about. But it, but it takes it takes the, the group to know this but if you don't know this shit, then what the fuck is you talking about? Like, so we like, need people now, like we need people like Jamal Green, uh, Will Callaway. We need he people. Don't know shit no, I'm just saying he don't know, right? them niggas don't know <laughs> shit, and that's my point. <laughs> so look, all I'm saying is this: that's a thousand laws. How do you know? Laws, because it's a thousand laws, it's a thousand candidates. <laughs> Ain't no nigga read that shit. Take twelve years. Ain't no niggas reading that shit. Niggas don't give a fuck. Okay, the, the candidates don't even know that shit. They don't know. Hey, laws, you you bro. think we came for a revolt? Cause it sounds like you feel like revolt, and and we revolt. They gonna drop they the gonna bomb. Slaughter your ass like and guess who else the they gonna drop the bomb? They, they the people. Everybody they gonna, gonna die. Your ass. Because guess what? You gonna die standing there. You gonna die on your knees. You still it. gonna die, bro. Here you go, you, you fucking cop. We don't sucking cop. So stand up. Cause if you die right here, you fucking cop. Stand up and fight. 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 Why do we even do this shit if you yeah. ain't doing it for a motherfucking purpose? Why the fuck? Why the fuck, I'm why the fuck are we on no cap right, right now? Bro. Bro. Like, we believe in y'all niggas. Man, y'all don't have like because y'all kicking it. Fuck you talking about? Yeah, I can kick it at home with my babies. Bro. I, I, in a club, I support you guys. You know, Listen, I ain't been to the club since they started shooting niggas in the face, bro. Hey, ain't none of y'all. <laughs> fuck is the time. Hey, Listen, I'm y'all name one judge. You know better you do better. We got Google. I'm here for the y'all, bro. Wait, hold on, hold on. Say it. Wait, I want to hear this too because this... I like this shit right here. Bro, I like this shit Hold on, too. this is what I, I was saying. We do need somebody that's educating us on who that's to vote and why saying. we should vote for. Because me, I voted for Obama because I saw Puffy do a whole fucking campaign. Right. Puffy that voted for the nigga. Stupid. I'm going to vote for the nigga too. All he said is vote it down. But you ain't call me up and say, you dumb as hell for exactly. voting. But if you want to call me like Big Bro, who the fuck is going to tell you? I'm not busy to tell you. No, let him talk. I, we can have a conversation. I'm saying. Us as black men. This ain't no shit about nothing. Who only knew Obama's last name, too? Fuck off. Right. I'm I just saying. Definitely, I definitely want to think of the black man. The black you people. Know, people right. Look, ain't uh, no, the rest of the battle. Black people. Hey, Lynn Bloom do not let motherfuckers talk. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. We letting them kick it, though. Feel me. Hey, y'all yeah. heavy on debate class. Y'all no, no motherfuckers. No, we got some smart motherfuckers. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, 
So yeah, everybody else just is saying, dumb as fuck, right? Nah, that's, that's what you're saying. Bro just said he just went crazy. Don't worry, we're going to link up with you at Shout Six. You know what's up. We're linking up with him after this. I'm going to tell you that. All that shit he talking right now. Motherfucker's dumb over here. I'll shake up on live TV. I'm playing. But no, Street. Look, <laughs> but all I'm saying oh, is, crap. this is important. Too. This is important. Y'all miss so, all this. So nah. this is very important. Okay. We need somebody that's educating the community, right. educating people that's influencers like me, like you. We need those people that's going to educate us. Not just say vote for this person because right. that's what we've been doing for a long fucking so time. Sad. I watch my mom and daddy and them go vote for fucking people. So mom, who you vote for? My mama said, Y'all hey, this that. ain't Lynn Bloom. The information ain't out there, though. No. So, Hold on. Now, listen. Now, now, listen. Now, now you're lying, See, bro. you ain't listening. The information is out there. Everybody don't you, think you, like you, me. You, you tell accept me. accept the information. No, no. no. You need no. somebody. You need somebody. Other people, multiple people that's in the neighborhoods, in oh, the community. Yes. Yes. Same like hip hop. That yeah. has, that knows factual in- information that people trust. Yes. Black people, we, hold on. You had a field nigga, a house nigga. Why the fuck would I? I'm a, hey. I'm a field nigga. You what type of nigga? Hey, well, look, bro, you might be a house that's, nigga. That's I don't know. That's not true, though. Because some that ain't true. Is, for that's just true to me. For the famous black woman, you know what I'm saying, who's wearing the vice president, they put the factual basis out there in Wood Barbie. Everybody posted it on Instagram, yeah. Facebook, everything about this lady had private events owners okay. in prisons. Key word right they here. Know, they let us know. Hold on. We don't know what they ass is. Hold on, yeah, hold on, let me go. Cases, no, let saying. bro go. It, it got put out there. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't it, but everybody, you got to take in what you really want to take in. So at the end of the day, this is what I'm saying. We need somebody in the community that people trust That's it. To, to give us this information. Who gave Eaglewood Barbie the fucking information? Exactly. The social media. Joel um, Gray well, and some fucking Jews. They basically said we had the information. Hold on. Why the fuck you can't do it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why you got your kids in school? You said what? Why do you? How many kids you have in school? I got three. Private kids. Or how many? I don't give a fuck what school they in. How many are in school? I got three kids in school. In school learning? Yeah. Or just there to kick it? They learning. They why they didn't learn it? Why you ain't teaching? Why they ain't teaching themselves? I do themselves? teach my fucking Hold kids. Hold on, why they in school? <laughs> because they need to be educated and they need the paperwork. Educated on what? Hold on. Let them talk. Why they in school? school. They back why they in school? They going to a white man's school. They need to be a part of that system too, though. Why no, are they in school? Why are you kids in school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyday you life, do you need certain paperwork? You know. They're like, you need your fucking credit that you're talking about yeah, to get you certain shit. The system. So, so you might want to take hold yourself on. from the credit hold system and tell them to pay all the pay. Hold on. Because you need hold to be involved. Hold on. Because you need to be involved. Because, because number one, right. number one, right. our culture, you got to fucking learn financial literacy on your own. What y'all talking about? Now y'all no, no, saying no, you gonna just, learn something? No, no, they no, still need to know. I said they supposed to teach that shit in, in you know, school. You know what your bro. kids learn in school? I didn't school. say that. That's what they learn. What they learn? What they teach? They learn. They teach. Let me in. TP. TP. Let me in. TP. What's kids learn in school? Let me in. 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 You need your FOIA card hey, so you can own this Love that club. shit out because they don't right, that shit. Now, now you, gotta, you gotta take part of the system that you live in. You can't live outside the system. It's not our world. Look, it's not our feel, system. Look. We gotta take part in it. I know it's fucked up. Listen, and they, they, they. You gotta play that game. Guess who don't? Let, let me you school y'all. Game, guess who dude. don't need a? That's guess who don't need a fucking. But they don't teach you that in high school. Hold on. To maintain the driver. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me school y'all. Let me school y'all that you don't need a fucking license that y'all play. Game. You, you said you don't need a license? You don't need a license. Let me school y'all on why you don't need a fucking license, bro. Oh, and these are facts because I learn shit, like you say, by myself. Right, okay. But guess what else I do? I teach, teach people. Me, bro. Oh, Let me teach, teach y'all teach, teach, teach. I want to learn teach. this shit. You can motherfucking give up your rights from a U.S. citizen. I'm not doing Hold that. on. Listen oh, to yeah. me. You can become a fucking more. More? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 And you get an ID. You literally pay no... This is facts. You no pay taxes. no taxes, right? right. None, you you traveling, so you don't need a driver license right. to fucking travel. You I heard a, of that. This is all facts, though. When you learn this shit, I ain't gonna tell y'all go do research. I'm gonna tell y'all. Right. So look, you become one of the biggest GD niggas, regular nigga. One of my homies from the hood that turned from a super GD hood nigga to this shit, right? Right. To he got his ID. I used to have a picture of it. 
No, it say ethnicity, like nigga, yeah. some other shit, right? You not mm. black, none of this. Now, when you give them your shit because they own you, nigga, you can be, you out of fucking police jurisdiction, nigga. The police can't even fuck with you, bro, when you pull out a certain fucking license. These are facts because you are owned by the United States, my nigga. So guess what? When you do this, you don't have to pay the United States no taxes, bro. You can go to Walgreens and shit that's seven ninety nine. You give them eight dollars and get a penny back. But guess what? Our people gonna do? <laughs> our people is already comfortable, and the average person gonna do what they used to, no matter how good you can change. These are facts, nigga. Y'all don't need that shit. Uh, are you more? Or are you telling me what I, somebody? I told ain't you none about. of that shit. I, no, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you what I know. If it's some shit I heard, I'd be like, man, what I heard was. But I'm telling you what I know. I put them on speakerphone. Okay, so no, did people, you do this shit? Are, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm comfortable. Listen. You got to tell me. Did you do this listen shit? To me, listen, to me, listen to me. I'm comfortable. Me did you do this shit? I don't shit. pay taxes, so this is... Did you fucking... Listen. I mean, I don't... You got to drive a license. Like this is why I don't need to be a whore. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm Say you want to get a motherfucker concealed carry, bro. And guess so what? why I'm the fuck do you want to conceal carry? Because I'm tired of carrying my. I'm tired of carrying my gun. You leave your ass to go to jail, bro. None of us want to go to jail, bro. We're real live gangsters and black men. I don't want to get to jail. Bro, 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 bro
Hey, <laughs> I don't know y'all fucking. <laughs> no, just say like, no cap, man, yeah, man. Man. Uh, like and subscribe to No Cap G, my brothers, man. We have real talk. Yes, sir. Listen, my brother, Skrill. He gonna make me a more. Too. Nah, listen. <laughs> hey, when folks, I'm finna, a hey, folks finna be a more G. I'm, I'm gonna even teach you this shit. Nah, I'm finna be a more. Look, we ain't finna put this back on y'all. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you, Larry Hoover Jr. <laughs> appreciate you, man. Damn. Hey, man. Like, <laughs> comment, subscribe, shout out to. Everybody that Shout fuck out to with us Diddy. and keep telling everybody about us, man. We love y'all. Man. Hey, fuck fame, shit, I'm all about racks. I'm big dog, little bitch. That's facts. Fuck niggas, no cap dog. I mix the shit with the fitting You talk a tough, get your face shot. Just for teeth, and I'm knocking your lips off. Ain't no future, I'm pulling up stick talk in the ring.